Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are once again in Satisfactory today. I'm going to pick up where we left off yesterday, working on the first real permanent factory in the playthrough. We have the forge making all of our iron, but we don't really have anything turning that iron into anything else in a permanent way. And this is all going to feed into our storage system, so it'll allow us to build whatever we want going forward. And uh, I did bring up a spreadsheet yesterday, we'll probably return to that today. And I've reduced some numbers overnight, so we're not going to be making as much, which should make it a little bit easier to get through. And I have some thoughts and ideas about how to display everything and have it look good. So we'll work through that in the, in the stream today. Sweet Sandy has resubscribed. Tier 1, 45 months. Thanks so much, Sweet Sandy. Great to see you here. As always, thank you for all the moderation help that you do. Uh, I have a, a Dan Loops NY, possibly for New York, that uh, followed in the middle of the night. So thanks for the follow. Dan Loops, I really appreciate it. And Mind Trip Media with a lurk right off the top of the stream as per usual. Uh, Mind Trip Media, I can't thank you enough for all the support across all the different platforms that you uh, use to support the stuff that I do. I really, really appreciate it. That means a hype train is close. Another 100 bits prime sub or tier one sub will get that hype train going in the next four minutes and 15 seconds if anybody wants to jump on board. Hype trains bring new emotes uh, via Twitch. So if you want to participate, you can do that. Uh, you can also join the Discord if you've used a sub or if you use your Prime sub. Prime sub is a great way to join the Discord because, of course, you get one of those every month with Amazon Prime. And you can use it on your favorite content creator here on Twitch. Uh, if it's me, great. If it's not me, great also. It's just a, a great way to support your creators. And especially because like you have, that, have access to that Prime sub no matter what, uh, whether you use it or not. So definitely a good thing to, to look at. So let's flip over. And we will talk while we play. Is that a new emote, Dan? So the aim today is to move as much of this uh, temporary things uh, into the new factory, which is over here. And I was thinking about this, and as I laid out a frame trying to think about what I was going to do today, I realized that we could keep these smelters up here, but we could also have the constructors down below. Now, they are unfortunately not um, at a height where we can hide them completely, but um, rather than raising the floor or raising this floor, I mean, we could raise this floor. We could have this go up a little bit higher if we wanted to. If we wanted the ability to cover these over at all. But I think it would be cool to see what's going on. And I think what's nice about being up here is that if we're up here, uh, we can look down and see what's happening and not have to like walk amongst it. Like I don't want this view, but I like this view. So I think we can probably get a lot done here uh, in this space. I do want to check to see what an assembler looks like though. Another two minutes left in case people want to jump in on the hype train. Yeah, so assemblers are even taller. And that's fine. I don't think that's bad. The power nodes are all at about the same level, though, which is interesting. Are they like that for all the machines? Are all the power nodes? Yeah, they look like they are roughly at the same height, aren't they? Give or take. So that's what an assembler would look like down there. Uh, we are not using anything beyond an assembler right now in this factory plan so we should be good so the first decision is uh, going to be what are we going to do with this kind of uneven strange uh, smelting situation uh, I guess we could leave this for potential expansion if we wanted to add a couple more we can go up to eight I think we could fit another two in here probably That takes up one in a bit. Yeah, we could fit another two in there. So I could leave this space empty for potential expansion. Or we could move them and center them. So I could move... Well, no, that'd be a waste of space. All right, so we'll leave those where they are. I thought we might be able to put, like, a, a hole down the middle here. Or, at the very least, maybe what we'll do... 
is um got one, two, three, four. Maybe I'll just move these two so that this is even and in the middle. Because this is the middle of, of this space here. Uh, you see I've got the walls kind of marked. I mark this one, I guess. Sort of where the edge of the wall is. So that's the depth of the wall. And then this is our space here. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six altogether. So lucky number 13 in the middle. Uh, do you do something like this for computers? Yeah. Yeah, computers are complicated. Why are you why are you slowing down? Are you Oh, you're not on. Oh, I cut the power somehow. Bring you over to here. I move the um, big power tower from the middle here as well. So the other thing that we need to think about is where the storage is going to go because we have to kind of direct all of this stuff. So we have all of the steel coming out of here. And if I bring up my sheet, that is right here. That's the steel production happening there. So we have to go into six constructors for steel pipes. We also have iron and we need 16 constructors. Uh, oh, do we need? No, 12. And 12 constructors. I, I changed the math here. We'll be making 270 wire, which is again a nice belt worth of wire. So 12 constructors and six constructors. So the six constructors doing steel pipes, they're going right down to rotors stators and industrial beams so i feel like they should stay on the right over here and we'll flow down this way so rotors and stators and motors will happen down there and we'll have our six constructors up here for what we're working on and wire is also going for rotors and stators That's 12 constructors. That I feel like we're going to need to use the other side for. There are a few other things that wire needs to, to have. I might be able to use what I'm standing on as a main bus underneath as well. We also do some coal production on that side. Two assemblers for modular frames, two assemblers for industrial beams, two assemblers. Okay. So the real question is where is the storage space going to be? The real question. I should maybe put those up in the corner for now. We can take out all of these. Um, I think that it's going to be worth replacing them just so that they look nice. Plus they're going to be making other stuff. I think we can still use this um, space underneath the walls here to have it look good. Because again, if we can see from up there... And I think it'll be worth making it look good. And I'll power our steel constructors from the other direction.
Whoa. I need a better garbage bin. That's just a splitter. The merger over here. You're not going to use a, story, a storage this time through, Sandy. You're going to use the dimensional depot. Or as you put it, the alien storage thingy. So we've got this space kind of happening underneath. We also have um, this area here that we could wall off, which could be kind of cool looking. We wanted to use this for the belts. So I was thinking that the constructors could go here and I needed, um, this is gonna be for the wire. So I need 12 constructors for wire Two constructors for rods. That's the wrong thing. I need that. Uh, limestone, I have to figure out. Concrete is only 40 per minute. So I only need like four constructors. Um, 60. Yeah, that should be fine. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a lot of room to expand this if we need to. That won't need to be limestone. Um, this will be 60, which means 45. How does the number of doctors stay the same? Four constructors doing concrete. This is going to be uh, 9180. And we can just customize the miner for that. Um, Wheeljack we'll seemed you was guess you guessed Jetfire? No. Jetfire was never a favorite. I thought Wheeljack was kind of cool. Wheeljack is um, kind of like the mechanic. I find for the Autobots. He's more of a samurai in the newer cartoons, but he's definitely the mechanic um, and the tech guy. So I thought that was a fitting fitting theme for this one particular factory. So there's gonna be four constructors for concrete. We'll do that on this side too. But they are not needed down the line. So they can be at the other end. So I need to also backtrack this. So this is two assemblers doing 30 iron plates. And we're not gonna make 80 iron plates. We're probably gonna make 60. I guess we could just do 40, couldn't we? That's an easier number. Thirty going there, ten going to storage. 
Whatever, we'll see what we got room for. Yeah, so let's do the six steel constructors. Seven with the beams. So I'm thinking we could do one, two, three, four, five, or I could have the seven run down here. This is going to be steel. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That brings us way down there. And then the assemblers. I guess we can turn to face the other way. I don't think I can fit five next to each other. If I have this thing in the middle, which again I could raise up if I wanted to. I feel like that's doable. Or I could just do one, two, three, four, five. I need six. So I could do three and three. And then I have one on the end. That would only take up this space here. That might be the way to do it. Because then I could have the, the um, output go this way. And I could have constructor here and constructor here. I'm not going to do any blueprints for this. I'm just going to build this by hand. So we're going to have one, two, three here. Doing our steel. And we'll have three just facing them just in the other direction. Um, oh, yeah, they'll be up a little bit farther. This won't be here, I don't think. So we'll have another one, two, three there. And then we'll just put the, the last one somewhere else. Maybe over here. That's doing the steel steel pipes and steel beam. And that's going to go down to rotors, two assemblers. Okay, so we should have... That leaves all this space for the assemblers. I feel like that's pretty good. Assemblers could be facing this way. Two. Where are not? Step. Oh, because of the bins. One, two, three, four, and then five. And that gives us some room to move belts around. Okay. So that's steel, rotors, um, stators, and then motors at the end. This would probably be facing the other way. So all of this would probably end up coming like down along here and then I think our storage is going to have to be on another level. I think our storage is going to have to be above this. Which is fine. 
Okay, so that's the steel. So now we need to look at what the iron is doing. And the iron is going to make us our wire. And what we don't have coming in here and I don't, don't have accounted for is space for copper. So we may end up having to do that in this section too. So we've got... I need to make copper sheets, but that's it. Wheeljack is awesome. Yeah, I agree. So iron, we need two constructors for rods. I'd say two constructors for plates. I guess I need to do more than two constructors for rods because we're not making any screws. We're not using any screws in the production, but we are going to need them in... Um, in just practice. So we're going to need more than that. What are screws? I've got the cast screw recipe, so I don't need to do rods. Pretty sure I've got cast screws. Yeah. Um, five to 50. Jeez. We might only need the one. So that should be fine. This is just going to be screws over here somewhere. And we can ramp this up as we need to. So be construct constructors, I guess we'll do it was 12.5. That'll be 25. And it was 60, I think, or 50? 50. 5 to 20. So be a hundred screws a minute, I guess. Really, we're just going to be storing those. That's going to be 25. We're going to have to do some overflow, I think, for this iron. So we'll do rods and be later on. The main thing we have to do is the 12 constructors for wire. I think six will fit here. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's only five. That's annoying. Uh, I could do five and overclock two of them. 
Or we can do a six down this way and have them output into the middle. So we could do this. How close do I want that to be? Not that close. I was talking with Total Eclipse the other day and we were both um, whining about the fact that when the constructors animate they go over the edge. So I could do six here. Two, three, four, five. Takes up a lot of room. And this is just over the edge. That's going to be our wire coming out. I think that looks pretty cool. We might want to do something. I'm not sure how crazy I am about this stuff coming right up like that. It might be better to flip them around. Have them output. Yeah, I think I like them flipped around better. We can still have the same thing here. It'll just instead of the outputs out here, it'll be the um, the inputs, and then they'll output, I guess, underneath the wall. Maybe we turn these into glass floors so we can see what's going on. I do want this to kind of look cool too. So what's a good? Let's just quickly color this wire. We'll pick better colors later. Just so I know what's going on. That's wire. Okay, cool. So 12 constructors making wire. And that kind of goes everywhere. So that's kind of fine that we've got it. Um, it's not going to be a bad thing that we've got that separated. Although, instead of on one belt now, that's on two belts. That might be a problem. Hmm. Good color, pink? Nay. One thing you need to practice with is building in this game. You mean like snapping and or planning things out? So the wire's happening first, and then we need constructors for rods. I guess I could I could just put them all in a row. Instead of this all being wire, I could have all of the wire along here, right? Could have all of these be wire. And so they still output to the same way. Can I fit 12 here? I'm betting the answer to that is no. Yeah, like it really, it's strange. It gives you these errors like you are in the way when you're not. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I am one short. Are you kidding me? Not if I make this smaller. I 
I bet you I can fit 12 that way. But then they're going to be off center. And that means it's going to be really hard to get the wall pieces to line up. Because here I was thinking we could use the, um, the wall exports, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. Or I could just bump this down. We could just extend this wall. I would probably do that first. We could do a twelfth here. And then just have maybe the building is goes out a little bit and then have the entrance be recessed. That could work too. Alright, let's let's do that then. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's our our wire. And then rods. Plates and rods would be next, would be the I think a good idea. Plates, rods, and screws. Two, two, and two and then four constructors that's another 10 yeah i would say we we honestly we can just do them in a row right so i could if these are facing the other way then these could also face a different direction This would be the input line for these guys. So then the input line for the next one would either have to be higher or I'd have to leave space for it. So at this point, we might want to put these guys over to here. And have a separate line going down this space. that I could have them centered on the middle and then this would be another 10 that takes us down to there so one, two three We've got concrete, rods and plates, and screws, and concrete. So I'd say rods and plates are both going to the same place, and concrete is going elsewhere. So we'll do concrete first, also because the concrete node is over there. So we'll do concrete, double click to move, four constructors. Concrete. 45 limestone, 15. Yep, we're definitely going to want concrete. This is all being used in our build. It's not actually being necessarily stored. We've got other concrete for storage. I don't, I only need 40 concrete a minute, but it's easier to make 60. I could underclock that though. Um, the easiest thing to do there would be. Underclock to 10. Still use the four constructors. And then we've got plates. Uh, let's do a light gray. Um, rods. Plates and screws. The only thing I'm not really counting on is I don't know if I have room for the other 
assemblers. I think we're going to have to bump these assemblers over. Because I don't think we're going to have room for the assemblers in this space. I guess we do have this area here. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. Appreciate it. I need two assemblers. Yeah, that's not a lot of space. I guess I could have it overlap a little bit. Maybe not that much. Mm, yeah. Don't know about that. We could tighten this up uh, if we had these guys pulling from above as well. We could have another layer and that would bump these guys back a bit as well. Although I don't know that's going to make much of a difference. It still doesn't give us much room. And it does, I need, I might need some room for load balancing and splitting and stuff. So I feel like the space underneath this catwalk is going to be needed for, for moving. We could also um, have this go higher in the middle. So like rather than here, I could be like up here. And then there might be room here for an assembler underneath that. Right? Like, if I built above that, then that could possibly work too. So we'll have to see. Uh, really what has to happen, I need to move these bins into another space again. I realized I just did the other day. Maybe I should just put them out here for now. Maybe we'll move you. I wish you could, like, put labels on the vehicles and, like, give them a name. We've been calling it Bumblebee. But uh, it would be cool if it was something we could like see and have like a sign on it or something. I think that's the right grid. No, glad I checked. So put these in a different space. We've got lots of pipes now. That's good. Uh, 
I guess we will move this for now. Send this up this way. doing for tickets almost got one more is two plates, two rods, and two screws. I have like a dark gray. Uh, that'll do. Rods and screws. Right? Okay. Canting Ocean, welcome back. I'm doing great. Thank you very much. I was uh, out for a quick appointment this morning and then picked up some groceries on the way home and treated myself to a package of maple breakfast sausages. So I had a nice egg and sausage breakfast. Watched a little of the Total Eclipse stream from yesterday that I didn't finish. And then here I am. By the way, I don't mention this often enough. If you do uh, bang SF creators in chat, you'll get a list of other um, satisfactory content creators that I really like. Uh, it's Bits, Total Eclipse is one of my favorites. Um, I'm Kibitz is great. Uh, Fluxo is great. And there's another couple of other people. Oh, who did I raid the other day? Uh, it's in the Discord. I put her link in the Discord. Uh, let me find it, let me find it. Whoa, Jess. W O A H H J E S S. She's delightful. She's really, really chill. She's very sweet. I think uh, anybody that likes my chat uh, will really enjoy Whoa Jess. She's she's lovely. So, uh, Sandy, I, uh, if you can drop me a reminder in the mod channel to add Whoa Jess to the San uh, the Satisfactory Creators list, that'd be great. I'd love to send more people her way if I can. So I think we probably will end up moving those back. Um, but that takes care of all of our constructors, right? Four for concrete, two for rods, two for plates, two for screws, 12 for wire. I might need more for beams. So now I need to work, work out where the assemblers are and I need lots. So it's probably going to be a good idea to move these constructors back. I need two, four, six, eight, ten. Wow. Two, four, six, eight, ten constructor, uh, ten assemblers plus the motors. So there's eleven. And this is only one, two, three, four. Well, you know what? That's not terrible. If we move these guys into a space that feels normal.
we can work on the design later. So let's just say that's where we're going to go. That's enough room for an output line. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. I mean, it'll take the rest of this floor space to do it naturally. It's like we have another one this way, right? And we uh, lock that. So this is only the 10. And I don't know if this is the best way to line them up because Sweet Sandy with 100 bits. Oh, a spreadsheet. Thank you. Sorry. My bad. The 100 bits was supposed to be generous, but I thought it was um <laughs> I thought it was a nice bit of generosity when really Sweet Sandy is just like smack. Stop it. Yeah, I'm very sorry. All I did was line up these assemblers. <laughs> One way or another, I will get used to Sweet Sandy. Thank you. I appreciate it. So that looks pretty cool. Um, I might want to nudge them a little bit closer so that we could see on both the inputs and the outputs. That could be fun, too, because we don't need this kind of distance. Also, some of these guys are going to be feeding into the others because we've got... Um, two encased industrial beams and then the rest are modular frames and so the two at the top are probably going to be rotors and stators because the steel is being produced here so it would make sense to hit these guys first so we do we don't really have a purple So rotors, and then stators, and then encased industrial beams. Actually, encased industrial beams are probably going to be next to each other. And then reinforced iron plates and modular frames. Oh, that's weird. Mm. I might want to do this in six instead of five. I might want to do six and four instead because then we could do two of those. Yeah. Probably do rotors and stators over there. Stators was brown. And then that could be motors. And then we could have two of these be reinforced iron plates, two of these be modular frames, and then I would need another two of them to be concrete. Yeah, I think six and four. Right, six and five because there's eleven in total with that guy on the end. Okay. I feel like that's pretty good. I don't know if I'm leaving myself with too much space here. Uh, I don't know whether whether we could have all the storage here in the middle or not. 
I don't really want to expand too far this way because we've got this rock in the way. I really need to get uh, a sound that mods can play to kind of hit me when I do that spreadsheet thing or any graphic because I'll do this sometimes too. I'll bring this up and then I'll start playing and I'll completely forget that I got the graphic on. I think the problem today is that I'm switching between the spreadsheets and stuff. One thing I did think about was putting um, a timer on it, which you can do very easily with my stream deck. I could say like, press the drive sheet once and if I press it again, it'll turn off. But I could also like press it and like it will just shut off after like 30 seconds. But then like if I'm talking about it and, I'm st and it goes off, then that also isn't, doesn't really work, right? Okay. We might end up changing the way that those assemblers look too. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this space, which is why I'm sort of leaving this open. I think this might look kind of cool. Because I, I don't think I'm missing anything. Uh, there's the constructors for cable. But that's only one of each. And there's room down the end for that, I think. Um, oh, you know what? We could probably... We could probably bring our copper in, in here, if that was something we could we needed to do. And this could also be a little bit wider too. Like maybe I want to make this like a foundation and a half or something. And I don't think I need to raise this up. I feel like I feel like it's okay. I might make that decision later. So the hard part now is just figuring out where everything's going to go. Because it's all going to go to storage. So I want to have um, the way that these storage bits are going to be used. I need a dimensional depot. I don't have enough of these at the moment. Um, but essentially, I may be making a dimensional depot on top of each storage system. And... That doesn't need to be seen at all. We can hide that in the ceiling. I don't need even need to see the top of the container. I could just have a single storage container. Right? I don't want, like anything along here is gonna block our view. So I feel like we have to have like a second level, maybe like along the back. Kind of sealing what I want in here. Definitely higher than that. Wow. like that's decent. I could go lower, I guess. This feels like a long way to go for your storage. Maybe storage could um, be down here. That's not a lot of room. Although, those are going to be pushed back. 
that's one thing about these is that you can at least access them from up here. That could be cool, though again it's going to block the view. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. It is neat to kind of see this top light though. Like that's kind of a fun access point. But then it would also have one of those dimensional guys on top of it too, right? Which again, well, like that could just look neat to have like decoratively down the center. That could be kind of fun. Hmm. But that just defeats the purpose of the whole view. But I guess we could also have like a path going down here. This is almost the right height. Also, you have to remember, I don't know if anybody knows this, but these new uh, modern catwalks, they, um, they snap to the machines. Like they line up with a lot of these great work that you'll see. They snap. So it's possible to do stuff like that, too. U.S. Central Time. So you're about to go to lunch. Uh, it is 1.06 p.m. for me. Uh, which actually reminds me, I'm probably due for a break as the sun is setting. Um, so wh while I hum and haw about where I'm going to put the storage, let's go see what we need for our sand production. I'm sure I am low on pipes. No. How can I move out of here quickly? I don't need that in there. Just about to fall comment on Nightfall and game, yeah. Lining up with Nightfall across the pond, too, apparently. It's what, 5 or... No, it's probably 7 p.m. for you, Sandy, maybe? Yeah, pipes is what we were out of. Good for those. And how are we doing for these? Not good. Okay. I'm going to run and grab some more Sam before we go on a break. Kel Birdie, six month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancer has entered the fifth month. Time well spent if you ask me. Thanks to Cosmic Dancer for the gift sub, says Kel. Thanks ever so much. Oh, I forgot to put my stuff away. That was dumb. Thanks again for that gift sub for Kel Cosmic, and thanks for giving Cosmic a shout out, Kel. Appreciate it. I need to get some some biofuel on the go too.
I definitely, definitely need more coffee. So I'm going to leave you here for just a few minutes, folks. I take a break about once an hour. Gives me a chance to uh, refresh the coffee and gives you a chance to stretch. Maybe even grab a friend, let them know that we're steering. And I'll be right back in about five or seven minutes.
All right, let's get back to business here. Don't know if we have any new tickets. Probably not. Maybe one or three. Two? Eh. I think that's all the tickets we have. I don't think there was anything that was two tickets that would be worth getting. Organization. Saving up for the billboard signs for ten. Some of the copper, the copper finish is kind of cool. Uh, the gr the grip metal would be nice to have. That's five. Foundations. I might want the inverted ramp pack as well. Good for walls and yeah. Okay, so we'll save up for probably the inverted ramps or grip metal. That's fine. I should also be pulling down plastic whenever I get a chance. And rubber. Just to kind of build up those stores. Let's put those in their own spot. Guess I could just build a new one. doing for power because I want to try and do a quick biofuel thing. We've got lots of room. Okay. What does it take to make liquid biofuel? Liquid biofuel, solid biofuel and water. That's fine. And then I'd have to provide package, packaged liquid biofuel, which is what we need to use it in the jet pack. And that requires empty canisters. And then empty canisters are in a constructor and they require plastic, right? Thirty plastic to sixty. Yeah, we've got um, we've got a little bit, of, a little water up here, right there, that I could use to make liquid biofuel just as a quick, quick setup. We'd have to go up and get it whenever it was ready, but it, we'd at least have some. Actually, we could put it into a dimensional depot if I had the spare, had the spare uh, stuff. So we are going to flip them around the other way. And I think that was a good distance because then it doesn't touch the wall. That's pretty cool. That's our cable. I guess the other thing is that we could think about this coming down here. And then if we had another one on top at a higher level. And then this was actually on this space. Technically that works, but it's 
Sometimes it looks a little bit cleaner that way. So we can maybe split the difference. That still is pretty tight. Could move that one more, then it probably wouldn't work. That does give us more room over here. Not by a lot, a lot. That could then be there. That gives us a foundation of space. I think that's enough to work with. Um, I don't know what I want to do for this storage, so I don't think I want to have it here. Like, I don't think this would look good. Right? Um, I don't. I don't think that's what I want. I don't want to. I want. I don't want this view. I want this view. Right? So maybe what we should do is have the storage above us and um, rather than having this be super tight like that, maybe we'll do double layer like that. Have this be like a, a mirror there. Maybe we can bump this over a little bit too. And then maybe the visual that we have here is going to be um, these things going up and over maybe. That could be kind of fun. I mean, in some cases we want them going straight into what they're doing. But in other cases, we could have the overflow going upstairs. And then that's the ceiling level for that, maybe. That seems like a long way to climb to go to your storage, though. It's the only thing. So maybe the ceiling level out here for the second floor is lower. We could have our storage up here and maybe maybe you have a separate way up this would allow us to put some lights down here as well i'm imagining a glass ceiling as um for this glass roof um yeah, because then we wouldn't have to cover this up. We could actually pull this back. Have this be maybe the edge of that ceiling. That could work out quite well, because that almost lines up with where the back of a bin would be. Maybe even over here. Like, that could be a floor hole. And then... Maybe, yeah, I think I like that idea better. I think I like this. Anybody feel like these are too close? We've got the room to kind of nudge this over to the edge here. I kind of wonder whether we should move this whole thing. 
move the slice, you know, so that these are more like here. I know that's not lined up, but you get the idea. I wonder about the connection on the left ones. Yeah, if they kind of come through the wall. So here at least we can do that, right? And then we can like see it working. This is small, but unless you just unless you're spacing things out needlessly, we could also nudge it a half meter, right? Like I could put one here, line it up. Oh, it says I'm in the way. I'm not in the way. Block the hologram, right? And then like it's just that little bit closer and then this would be just that little bit closer or that little bit more visible it doesn't really matter I just want to make that decision before I lock everything in place and build it, right? That sort of pushes out here a little bit. I can still do it. Any thoughts? That to me, I think is too close. I think either one of these work. I think I like that a little bit better. So I think we maybe split the difference and we go with the longer here to have the longer there. I could also move this to be in this position here. And then it's going to be the same as the wall. Sort of. As if that was a merger. But then I'm just, I don't need that space. Yeah, they export under the wall currently. Um. They don't have to export under the wall. They could also take from the wall. The reason why I spun them around is because if they're if the back of them is facing the wall, then these lights are all here. And I, I didn't like this view so much as I thought this looked cooler. Uh, Jay Christ, good to see you. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Sorry, Dan, I don't know the context of your comments.
Whew, it's hot. But I like the idea of like a, a half floor here. And then we could potentially have ways to get up there. these never line up. I don't understand. I wish they gave us half platforms. Like that's just annoying. Yeah, like why? I'm on, I guess I'm on, yeah, I'm on the grid, but then that I guess isn't. Oh yeah, okay. don't think I want to lower that by a block or by a meter. Not the end of the world. So then from here, though, we could have this go up to whatever the next level is. So like if I ha had angled here. So this this section would would level up, so to speak. And that may happen sooner. Maybe we do that back by a couple blocks or something. I think that could look cool. So then up here would be where we would have our storage. I don't know why, but that felt kind of badass. <laughs> Sliding and taking care of stuff. Obviously we'd have to move this back. But then up here, or probably on, I guess on both sides really, more than likely this side would be where it would be. Then we'd have our storage up here. Very easy to access. I'd give myself a nice broad runway. Um, probably wanted to go this way. Yeah, so if that was the main storage. Although I guess we'd have to decide which would be a better view. I feel like I might want to have the windows out that way. Yeah. So depending on what we do and how we do it, we, um, we might have some belts moving around. It could be kind of cool to see some belts on the ceiling. Um, we could also have this 
storage space be several different lanes, but it's probably easier if it's one lane. Could have it on both sides, I guess, too. Now, I like the idea of having something up here. Oh, we've got a concrete example. Probably achievement for laying a certain amount of concrete. I'm not sure how many that is, but it was pretty fun. Yeah, it would be nice to have windows here rather than just straight up balls of that. I've also got to think about the actual design of the overall shape. I like the idea of having some some circular turbines and I like the um, I like the overlapping angles on this guy. I really like the old version like the gen the gen one on the top right is a pretty good pretty good example. I don't remember if he had a shoulder cannon in the original cartoon or not. He might have. You're high enough that you're not going to bother me. That's good. There's also going to be some awesome sinks on the, on the ceiling taking out some stuff. I think some of this is going to have to be fly by the seat of my pants in order to get this to work. But, all right, let's think about the logistics uh, and how we're gonna get all this stuff moving around. We need the steel pipes and the wire are the two first things that I wanna get going. I believe the foundries are gonna stay where they are for now. I need six constructors for steel pipes and the 12 constructors for the wire. Those have got to get combined later. So this wire is going to need to go over to mostly the assemblers. So we pop down here. That wire is all being export into the wall there. It's probably going to make sense for that wire to continue down around here and head back up this way into some of these assemblers. Now it needs to go into the stators. So most of it goes into the stators and the rotors. And those could be it's pipes and pipes. So those are currently over there. So that's a long way around. We might want to have the output for those machines go this way. We do have some space in here. Um, bring the wire down this way. And have it enter into these machines. No. It would have to go clear across through here. So I think this is probably going to have to be logistics right through here, all the way around down this way. These guys will have to take this stuff in. So that's the rotors. We may have to add another floor up here for AI limiters and stuff too. I don't have any plastic here. Oh, these aren't plastic. Oh, that's plastic. Yeah, none of those are things we can automate right now. This is all just iron and copper.
and steel. But it's steel because we're using so many alternate recipes. So we could bring that down there. That means that we have to find another way to get... The iron has got to come in this way. So what do we need for that? We need... 150 iron ingots. I guess I got to do a little bit of math here. So that's 150. Two constructors is 30, so that's 180. And then we've got iron plates. That's not it. Um, this is only 60. And this is 25. That's 85. It's a weird number. Big head face, hello, good to see you. So that's uh, 265. No, this would be 180. This is 265. There's going to be some sort of overflow mechanism here somewhere. I might end up just doing more screws or less screws. So we're not using screws in any construction, just for buildable parts. I forgot about the uh, cable constructor, but we've got room for that. So 265, we weren't doing anything for the beams. Unfortunately, this is more than one belt can carry. That's unfortunate. Yeah, numbers are not good. When you start messing with alternative recipes, they start to really screw around. Yeah, it's the screws that are... If I didn't have the screws at all, we'd just be dealing with 240. Which is still more than we can harry in. We uh, we could we could do. Yeah, you know what? Um, we're gonna put screws on a different. There's a good chance we're gonna need screws from a different source anyway. So we'll put the screws down here. And. That way, um, this can be 480. And then this can be 240. This can be 240. And that's only one. Uh, and a bit of our belts. So we still have to do some finagling to get this to work. We'll have to um, pull from this belt because this is currently going in two belts of 450. So 450. I need to somehow get another 30 off of that, which is annoying. Not impossible, but it's annoying. Um, 
even if I left, yeah, so I'll figure that out. Um, so then this is going to be 60. And that works out great. Okay. 240 seems to be the magic number in here. So we just need a wee bit of load balancing, but we've got space for that in this area here. Now, I don't remember what space I decided these were going to be on. So let's just grab a belt. This is going to need, how much was it? 150, but we can just do the overflow for that. Right, so we can do a smart splitter here. That can be really in any space. We'll probably try to keep it tight. And that can do both these. And then it doesn't have to go anywhere else because none of this is iron related. This is, All of our iron happens right here. So that's actually pretty good. All of the output is going to be happening over here. And like I said, I think we have to bring this down and around. So this will be going out this way. And it'll loop back up behind here. As well as over here. We might actually turn these guys around depending on, on how we want to do it. Okay. So now I gotta move these guys. We're gonna stop production temporarily. How's everybody doing in their playthrough? For those of you that are playing Satisfactory, have you gotten to this phase? Are you in the, the long dark of phase three as you try to get yourself? It seems like you just constantly have to do um, management like you constantly have to do stuff like grabbing things and moving things and I feel like I'm just constantly running back and forth for different stuff like I get into something and I realize oh no I gotta go refill this and move that is Devastator save a complete write-off at this point uh no it's not I've just been getting a lot of good, good feedback on this save uh people that are new to the game watching me play this and enjoying it so I have not um, I have not uh, bothered to go back and try it. Um, it could be okay. It seems to be a problem when I stream it as well. Oh, we're up to four. Actually, I've got some I've got some monster bits we can turn into a capsule.
That penguin dude, hello. While I'm over here. Phase three says penguin dude, but I feel like I need to redo all my factories constantly because I don't plan ahead enough. Um, it's also your first time playing. There's, I feel like there's that experience of the first time playing the game and then the second time playing the game. And I feel like the, it's the, you don't know what you don't know problem. You know, like once you get through a, a certain level, you realize, okay, now that I know what to expect in the computer phase, like the, the manufacturing phase, and trains I can plan for that and once you can plan for that your your early playthrough feels a lot better I still don't have enough pipes over here let's just go grab a bunch Like even this, like I feel like this might be too close to that rock. I might have to encase that rock, have it feel like part of the building. Just just running by, like because of how high this is getting. I mean, maybe that's part of it, but like even this feels a little bit like too close. that work it's yep so we're currently not making any steel right now which I need to remedy because we're going through it quite quickly okay so we've got these walls here that are being of all this this can go we will power things a different way now how are you you are connected in a different way i think yep so now i need six constructors doing Decided to do it this way, I think, was the idea. These are all doing the same thing. Ah, but we're going to have that problem here. It's only going to be for three of them. Because they're all making the same thing, I do kind of want it to be one belt of 120 pipes. So if I switch over to the drive sheet, six constructors here making 120 pipes. It's only going to three different locations, rotors, stators, and encased industrial beams. And those are all right over there. So they're going to output that way. And that to me makes the most sense. I mean, I could turn it and have them two connect. Wait a minute, what's um steel pipe? So it's two belts of 60. And then do I have anything that needs 60 of them? I do. No, that's the wrong thing. 70, 30, and 20. Ah, that's so annoying. Uh, it would be easier to actually have them in two belts. So I need to do 20, 30, and 70. 
uh, which of course adds up to 120. Uh, it's going to be easier to split a 60 line into 30 than it is to do something else. So that's what I'll do. And I'll just rejoin the other one. How am I going to get that though? So the one thing that's nice about building your starter factory a little bit later is that I've got smart splitters so I can do the um, I can do the overflow thing, which is nice. That goes there. Maybe we don't have to have a... a barrier there. Maybe we just have it go straight out underneath. Although I was planning on having a wall here. And that gives us enough room here though. A nice merger line there. That's probably the smart thing. And then maybe here we just don't do that, I guess. I mean, I could back it up a little bit, I guess. I just tend not to do stuff like this too much because it's often hard to find mistakes if you do it that way. And then this feels like a really long, long space. Do I have, I've got room underneath here too. If I need to. I could be really cheeky and do a subfloor to the subfloor. I told you it always happens. Pap the Gamer, I just started my second playthrough. I have 200 hours in my first one. This playthrough, I am creating factories near resources for individual parts, and I will be transporting parts, not raw materials. I think that is the problem in my main game. Way too many raw materials running all over the planet. Yeah, I, I did that a little bit too much, I think, in my Devastator playthrough. Although, in Devastator, I... I was like consuming the biome. So the rocky desert is where Devastator is. And I basically have like all of the resources being pulled up into Devastator and then being used there. So once something is being made in Devastator, it's not being shipped anywhere else. It's just going along Devastator. But the first like 10 or 20 belts of our 
uh, main bus and Devastator. It's a lot of raw materials, but generally speaking, it's better to move the manufactured good unless it's something like cable or Caterium. Um, Caterium ingots, it's better to smelt on site, but then uh, quick wire, it's better to move the Caterium ingots first, depending on what how you're producing. Basically, if the ore is reduced, then smelt it on site or or do something with it on site. Uh, if so, if you're making like a motor factory and you find out like all the iron in the area is being smushed down into like five motors a minute, definitely make the motors on site and then move the motors later. Big Headface says I do the same. Still not learned my lesson even with multiple restarts, hundreds of hours in the game. I've got like fifteen hundred hours or more in the game. Remind me today, um, somebody, if you want to see the, the 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 other big save that I've got in this exact location. I'll load up the Metroplex save and we can take a look at it. I don't I don't think it'll crash the game. It's hard to say. This is just the stuff that bought that takes me forever. It's just the aesthetic decisions, right? When I should just like pull the trigger and do this. That doesn't need to be smart splitter. Do I care about this whole wall thing? I just think it'll give us decoration opportunity. Do I have glass floors yet? Those new architecture, I do. So this could be another really cool look for this as well. So we can see what's going on underneath if we want to. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I think I do like the wall there. So let's do the wall hole thing. And I guess I'll live with that. And then over here, we'll have to do, I wouldn't mind being on this track. I feel like that looks about the same. Not quite, but I'd rather it be central. Okay, so grab that. Steel pipes. are somehow not even. Why are you not? I think that looks good. These will come along to here. 
And we've got lots of space for other things if we need to, because this is where we're going to want to do probably a couple more constructors doing, um, uh, what are they, steel beams? So I need at least one more constructor. Uh, this is where I might want to bring in the concrete. Oh, no, I don't have that alt. I don't think I have that alt recipe. Uh, encased industrial beam. Hmm. No, I wanted the alt recipe for this. We may have to move things around here. We could still fit a assembler here, though. That's okay. That doesn't need to be there. These are doing steel pipes. Comes around to there. Now, one thing I did not think about is the best way to power all this stuff. We could connect it to the ceiling. That's going to be annoying. Because they never line up. You'll get close. But it's never... Something else that's really annoying, too, is that you can, you can nudge these little guys in half meters as long as they're not connected to a... Um, as long as they're not connected to a wire. So if I want this to be like farther this way, right? I mean, that's pretty good, but if you have a wire connected to it, um, you can't, uh, you can, it's only full meters. You can't do the little half nudges, which is annoying. Yeah, I'll load up the, the Metroplex, no problem. I could maybe do that on the break. Although there's not much to be seen in Metroplex. It's just sort of existing. It is really silly. Yeah, it's really inconsistent, which I don't like. I am honestly thinking about powering these through the floor because we could also do that beam trick. I guess it didn't need to be there. Right, you can kind of like do that. And this would be consistent with what we've been doing. I guess we could replace that with one of these two. Can you... Can I trick you to a break? <laughs> can I trick you to a break? I don't understand the pun. I've never really liked these black connector things. But we could do that um, and then power them from below and have the wire go straight down. That's possible as well. It might be more interesting to have them powered from above. Also, this going through the lights is not the best. Okay. Oh, you're doing a trick. Oh, I see. Just 
Yeah, I got you. Um, well, let's save the game anyway. And let's go Cybertron 27, and we'll call it the Jack uh, uh, Pro Layout. So I'll confirm that, and then I will. I'm going to exit to the main menu just so we're not trying to do too much at once. And then let's um, load up Metroplex, and I'll show you Metroplex on the break, which won't surpass the nighttime, but it'll be something fun for I think folks to look at. Um, Great North update for prep. I think this is it. Metroplex 68 from August. Prop and stream test. That's probably the right one. So this is a huge factory that's on a giant platform above the grass plains. Uh, and it's got this really nice glass storage facility. You've got the hub in here. I haven't even thought about where I'm going to put the hub. Um, but it's a pretty, pretty sweet spot. You can dump your stuff in here and it all gets sorted into the respective bins so this is i like that look it's just that i like this and this is what i want to have in my in my other playthrough is something like this but like this is a big room this is what one two three four five six seven wide and this is massive like we've got iron happening over there we got iron happening over here everything is clean and cool and big and you can see all the parts it's very kind of industrious inside um, but then from the outside it looks a lot more like transformers and stuff and obviously the the real fun and this is what i want to do for devastator i want to have i want to have a decepticon symbol on devastator and i don't know if you can tell but that is signs that have all been put together and lit up to make the Autobot symbol. And these giant boxes, um, I forget how cool that one looked. Obviously there's a big train station and construction up there, uh, but these are all these giant places that are making all this kind of stuff on the side. It's just, it's a lot of space. I've just used a lot of space. It's very grandiose. The idea is having floors and having things produced on the floors and just having this giant skylight atrium in between. And then this place is just... This is making screws, I think, before I even had the alt screw recipe. So this is just nothing but chaos. I mean, it's organized chaos. But it's just straight up... Like, machines upon machines upon machines. Sending things upstairs. But the best view is going to be up at the lookup lookout spot right up there hopefully the hypertubes won't crash the saves so there's the scale um, for context we are we're building kind of like right down here right now <laughs> Like, Ironhide kind of fits in this space right there. And then this is Metroplex, and Metroplex is just ginormous. I really like this this build. It's actually really fun. Um, it's woefully low on power, and I didn't... I, the coal generation stuff here was not great. It, it's much better to go over the hill. Uh, but I was actually pulling in all kinds of iron. I've got all this stuff being smelted, like... This isn't the nicest. I don't like the inputs. The intakes for the, the factory are a little bit odd. They kind of come in at odd angles. Um, but the overall design is is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Actually, I might as well just stay up here. In case I need to show it off. Uh, we'll save it again. And I think I will pop back to the other save uh, just to have the night pass. It would be fun to merge Metroplex and Devastator. I agree. 
I think that would be a good a good way to combine those two. I don't think that's too cheaty. Like I I think that's a decent a decent way to do it. Sixty three hours in this safe. Holy crap. I guess I will just go up here. It is always fun at night. Give me five or seven minutes, folks. I will be right back.
I don't think we're supposed to realize that the sun or moon or second sun, whatever it is, just kind of blips out of existence. I think it's probably supposed to go below the horizon. <laughs> but sitting here watching it, it just kind of gets to here and then just kind of like turns off like a flashlight. It's like, oh, <laughs> slight immersion breaking there. Okay, so we have to hook up uh, the inputs for this, which is going to be 30, so we can, we're can okay with regular belts. This is a lot easier now that they've got the snapping going a little bit better. And these are taking... 30 a piece, so 1, 2, 3, 90, 180. That needs a 270 belt going down the middle. Wall. Why am I feeling this is off? Six constructors. Oh, I've got the numbers wrong on my sheet. We've got six doing 20, that's 120. But I've got, that's, that 300 is wrong. That's um, six times 30 is 180. Yeah. So this is 180. Which means we are not needing all this. Why did I reduce this? Huh, okay. So that means there's a lot more available than I thought. We don't need to be making this much steel. I mean, we can, because it's an easy number. I guess that gives us half, right? Yeah, so then this would be 180 as well. Uh, if we wanted to use that, I'm trying to think about what else we could use steel for. I mean, we could make more pipes and use them in uh, my other, because there was, we don't have it yet, but if I had steel modular frames, we could do that. Um, but I only have one constructor doing steel beams and we've got, we could easily do more. Uh, what's that? 80 steel ingots. So that's only three. Cause this, these things just chomp steel, right? So maybe I can do three here. So that'll be the 180. And then this will be 45. We're going to use a ton of those, so we can then use them for something, or they can just go into storage. So let's do that. We've got the room. Okay, so that means this is just a straight splitter. That's easy. So then we just have, don't have to be a smart splitter. Uh, we can just split that here. And then the other ones, I guess I could put them, actually I could switch them around face them this way, right? Oh, how do I want to do this? This is the output for the steel right here. So I'll split it here and wrap it around and then we'll have to do some juking and jiving to get the stuff up and around. I should definitely unlock the wall conveyors. I think that's going to be a lot easier to do. Um, but then we could do this here. And then I don't remember exactly how far away I had it from the walls.
think it was there. So these will do steel beams. Oh, but then the back of them is up against the thing. Um, and let's flip them. Weird that that it's not lining up. It's not giving me like the little. There it is. It's bizarre. That's not correct. We could bring them both down the same way. That's fine. So these will be beams, and these will be pipes, and then, oh, wait a minute, I gotta remember what the output is here. Well, you fit there, sort of. That's the output for pipes, uh, we'll just have to run along that way somewhere. Maybe I want the output for both of these to be in the middle here. These pipes are going over that way too. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The rods. Yeah. trying to figure out what is going to be the best place to send the beams. Well, whatever. I want these facing that way, so this will have to be the output. That's fine. This is going to be Mark Three. That's going to head out that way, and then we'll move those around. Okay, so I think the thing now is just figuring out the power. And this is actually where it might be good to... Um, I don't think this is going to look the best, but we could try something like this. I think I have to use a, a pillar to get it to connect right. I wish we could nudge vertically. Uh, 
Like, I just want to connect at a different height. It's annoying. I mean, whatever. I'll, I can worry about the height of it later. That doesn't look terrible. We could put the power off of that. So we could do something like that, which is better than this, I think. It's a little busy. I mean, alternatively, we could also have them here. I think I prefer the side than the top. What I would really like is for this to be even. I guess I could maybe put down a temporary beam connector and see if that helps. No, that's not gonna. That is so dumb. How do I get this to be half a meter? That's how. See, I don't want this thing. think this works? I can always try a couple different variations and see if we like it. Not crazy about the Zed fighting. hidden power that I did in the Devast the uh, Megatron factory. Those are connected to there. And then these ones I'll just connect, I think, underneath here. So can I do that here? That would probably be the slickest. Probably be a double. And then this we can just bring out from where that point is the middle. Now 
Now I just need to do the recipes. So that's pipe. 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 Oh. And I'm going to wait to paint and do all the decoration until we know we've got everything working and in the right directions. I don't want to have to move something after decorating it. And then this is going to be beam. So copy. Paste. Paste. Okay. So let's just temporarily throw you guys up here again. Um, exit is there. Put temporary bin. How many did I say was happening? One twenty. It's a merger. Is that facing the wrong way? Let's face the wrong way. The auto rotate is back with vengeance. I dislike it greatly. Don't know if I trust that anymore, so we'll do that again. So I'm just going to quickly put down a smart splitter. Uh, overflow left will be any. No pipes. What I'm trying to do is make pipes. To hook up power for these guys, which I think is not going to be as easy because of the way that this is set up. So we are just going to do this a little bit on the quick and dirty side. I find power management is something that I I need to do a little bit more forethought on. I'm always thinking about layouts and inputs and outputs, but I'm never really... Um, why are you not getting any power? Are you not connected? Oh, I didn't connect this to the other side. Uh, does that show if I do this? That doesn't really show up. Eh. I'd rather do this this way. That should be everybody powered. Good, 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 good. 
Now the output for these guys is 15. Another reason to move them a little bit far away from the walls because you can walk in between them. I find that getting the player inside is tough sometimes. Uh, let's go with, yeah, we'll go middle. And this is doing 15 per minute, so that's fine. We will just add a merger up here. new um, lines for showing where things are going are pretty good for when that happens. I guess I should turn that the other way. Cosmic Dancer gifted a tier one sub to Fazu Battlecaster. That's a 12 month gift sub from Cosmic, entering the sixth month. Thanks for the shout out for Cosmic Fazu. Thank you, Cosmic, for giving Fazu the gift sub. Folks, if you're watching this later, you can join the Joel Duggan Discord with a sub, a Prime sub, or a uh, subscription on Patreon, which is uh, less expensive if you are on a tight entertainment budget. Uh, which I think we all appreciate these days. Uh, you can, of course, check out Patreon. It's only $2 a month. And you get to join the Discord and support the streams. All right, those are the two outputs. They're going to go into storage and or that. Uh, now I just need the input happening. Oh, uh, these are not... These are also not done. Is this the, this is the output. This is the input. Yeah, that is incorrect. None of that is, that was the steel. That's the ingots. Um, that's the inputs. This the outputs. All right, did that wrong. This is the output. Show me a different direction every time I place one of these things. Really annoying. That's going to go that way. We'll have this one come down this way.
Smart splitter, please. Let's go there. they connect to themselves a lot. It's really weird. And so this is another output. And this is a merger. So then I just need to move this. it's in the wrong spot. Why would it be in the right spot? Yeah, these lines need to be a lot farther. That's everything. And then input is this divided by half. So this is the output all coming down here. That's the output. And so this is going to go in here by half and here and that of course is not in the middle because I wasn't this is why I didn't decorate this or why I didn't want to do it permanently and that is not going to be in any good spot there's nothing we can do there I wish they had one-sided wall holes, but even this is not going to be in the right spot. Uh, the door is also not going to be good. That's going to be on the wrong side. So, in this case, what I normally do is just use beams. And I may have to move that later. So this is going to be a splitter. This is producing 480. And that will get dropped to 240. And is this facing the wrong way? This is facing the wrong way. I think they could have done a better job designing the splitters. I feel like the splitters just are so confusing visually. Anybody else find that? So that's that way. And then this is going to go this way. And it's going to go through the beam. 
not what I want. They're all producing the things, or should be producing the things. Except for these are not hooked up. That's not hooked up. You're just slow to get your stuff. So it is a manifold, so we'll take a minute to heat up, but that's now working. Results and results. Perfect. Okay. I actually don't mind this. I think this looks pretty good. Um, we might be able to do a little bit with decoration, but it's, it's busy, but it's least tidy. I obviously will fix that. Question for anyone knowledgeable about Twitch policies. Is it more beneficial for Joel if I lurk before going AFK for extended period, or is it pretty much the same as just going AFK without any action? Uh, the lurk is just for us, actually. Uh, big head face. Thanks very much for asking. Um, some people get confused with the lurk. Lurk is just kind of a fun term within the Twitch community to say that um, you're watching, but you're not at the keyboard. Maybe you're doing the dishes. Maybe you're wrangling the kids. Uh, maybe you just don't feel like chatting. Um, but as you become a regular here, people in my community will want to say hi to you. Uh, and if you are unable to say hi back and you don't want to be rude, you can be just like, hi all, work lurk or whatever you're doing. Um, a lot of people watch in the, in the background as well, so at work. Um, so lurk is just more for in letting everybody else in the chat. Um, it is beneficial to me though that you are lurking. It, it's an extra viewer. It means that Twitch might put my stream a little bit higher in the recommended channels as um, people are looking for um, things to watch from Satisfactory. So it's, it's a big help. I really appreciate it. And it costs you nothing to have me up on a second monitor. Uh, you can't mute the stream totally uh, because I think Twitch doesn't count that. But you could turn the volume down to like 10% and barely hear it if you had other things going on and you didn't want to have the distraction. Um, but I mean, I think a lot of people like the whole work co-work idea where like I'm doing this for the afternoon and if you're doing some stuff, as long as me chatting doesn't bother your workflow, then hey, have at it, right? Oh, you're going to mow the lawn. Um, McScrewgun does that a lot. He'll be out walking and he'll, he'll lurk and work. So is this just not getting anything? This is not getting anything. Oh no, it's just slowly getting things. Okay. All right, so we have at least something functioning. Uh, let's... I feel like that's pretty good. It doesn't look too crazy compact. I really don't like this. So the problem here is I need to move this line, I think, over to be in the middle. Uh, so we're probably going to have to bump these over. Uh, a little bit, and that's fine. We'll sacrifice some space here, but this will then line up with a nice, a nice hole, uh, right there. So we'll work that in. It's not a terrible solution because you can't really see it, but okay. So on to the next thing, which I think should be uh, the wire. I'd like to do the wire, I think, and we need to move a bunch of these things. Where, what do we decide on? We decided on... I think this, didn't we? Yeah. And this at least will go through a door. So like if we decide to put a wall here, I can put a um, door. Some people might not know this actually. But when you come to a door, there is, if you look at the door frame, press E to always close mode. And then now it just, it won't open. And then you can go press E to always open mode. And now it won't shut. But it means that you have 
a nice one-sided output. It doesn't attach, but you can also do things across the bottom to make, make it look a little bit better. That's fun. That's if I wanted to go out that far. I don't know if that's the case. Well, actually, this will be in alignment with this, I think. Yeah. All right, so this is the correct one here, which means that's wrong. And probably these other ones are wrong too. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I decided that this slice is the right. Yeah, that's wrong. And this is why I did want to do blueprints for these. That was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Quick check these. going to be doing iron wire 22.5 so that's going to be fine we need a merger I think I'll try that. I may regret that decision later. That got turned around somewhere. So somewhere, one of these got turned without me knowing it. That is infuriating. Like why, why did you turn? Like I didn't turn it. Why is it a splitter? Merger. Never thought one thing I could check. Can I get from there to there? No. Sometimes it's nice to have these things high. Big Headface says, I keep you open whenever I'm on the computer and you're live. If I'm on Twitch, your voice is so soothing. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Appreciate that. 
Yeah, I sometimes have streams on while I work. I like having streams on uh, on my big screen TV in the living room when I'm doing like house chores, like dishes or uh, anything like that. Uh, this is going to be... What's the output on this? 270. So let's just do a full 270 line rather than muck around with when it gets to 270. That didn't seem straight to me, but it is. Now what I should do is maybe put like a temporary awesome sink over here. Uh, maybe we'll put it up in this corner. Seriously, that doesn't connect? Oh, because I've got it off by a bit. Need some power. Can I upgrade that? I think I can. No, I cannot. All right. So then power for these guys is going to be interesting as well. We could try the beam thing. It may or may not look good in this situation. Oh, we're also going to power these other guys too. So it might make sense to run the power to all of them at the same time. Um, so I guess we'll set up the rest of this. Also, I don't know if I connected all of the insides. Nope, I did not. Generally, I like to run the machine right into this into the splitter or into the merger. But this was just a little bit easier. A couple of times I put the stream on and mute the browser tab. I had Twitch on. There's no way uh, for them to detect that, I used to get some Twitch drops. Oh, that's cool. I appreciate that. That's a good tip. So mute the the browser tab, not the Twitch player. That's a good. That's a good. Good tip. Good trick. All right. So we decided that this was the correct layout. So then I need all of my inputs. Uh, these are getting iron. And it's going to be coming from up here. So all of our splitters may be facing the right way. And 
that's on that track there. Come from the back and there. Pretty sure. I could have put together a small blueprint and had the splitters and stuff attached to the um, to the constructors, but then like I couldn't have been able to do the adjustments that I needed to do today. Nudging things left and right would have been really complicated. And how much iron is this? This is 150. The same idea, it's going to be mark three all the way down. Technically, we don't need a splitter on that last one, but I think it's usually a nicer look. And they need 12. I almost got them all. Do I want to do temporary power? Probably. Let's just run power along here. We will have to work this out a different way. realize I'm standing on a belt. This is completely by accident, but very convenient. Deja vu from the early days of doing this stuff. Found the power hookups to be really repetitive. One thing I really wish they had given us in 1.0 uh, would have been uh, wireless power. High tier, put it at you know some high reward, but like let us power the floor and have that power the machines. We really thought we were going to get it with some of the things that they showed off in the... Um, the other um, the early videos for 1.0 oh that's the wrong spot that's fine and then we'll just have it down here Can I actually touch these from here? I can. It's difficult. To, how do I do this? One thing that's nice about the blueprints is never having to copy paste your stuff. Nighttime again. You're right, Sandy. I mean, it'd be pretty weird if I said you're wrong. <laughs> As it is getting dark in the game. 
So why? No power. Missing a connection. Sweet. The only thing that they need is iron. Don't know if this is going to be the right one. Uh, they need 180. This is going to be... You're going to start doing stuff? You are going to start doing stuff. Nice. So we should, in theory, start to see some stuff flowing here. much to look at. Sorry, we'll stay here. Uh, once again, folks, I do need to take a break. Uh, I do this once an hour. It's a little bit less than that with Satisfactory. It's just it's a lot easier to see what I'm doing when the sun is shining. So I will be back in about five or seven minutes.
Let's go check on our Sam stuff. I'm sure it's probably no longer in commission. Yeah. Need more pipes. Surprise. And oh, we're doing okay. We could use a, a refresh. So let's dump our inventory here quickly. So you can probably sink those for points. I don't know if they've ever given a story about the Manta. Whether that's made it into the game or not. And I'll run back over and get some pipes first. Now we've got to think about like where and how the intake is going to happen over here. Thank you, Sandy. So the iron is coming in here and being split in two different ways. And I think if I track this back, this should be the only thing that this belt is doing. It should not be doing anything else with this belt. There is some overflow. There's no overflow happening, so that's good. So this is making 450, but we're using 480. No. We're only using three, 240 out of the 450. I will eventually need to up that. So we'll have to do some managing over the other side. I'd leave myself a little sign. Yeah, so we'll do a little sign here that just says load balance. No quartz. That's annoying. Where did I leave that? Left it there. So it would be 420. 
cool. I have to fix that. So it looks like we've got everything going. No one seems to be scrambling at the moment. That's all just going in there. And we've got another four tickets. That's eight. Got some more decorative things we could pick up. And so now we just have to delete all of these guys. But I gotta remember that there are four for concrete and then two of the other ones. Plus I need to do a cable one. Don't let me forget about a cable one. That'll be on the end. For sure. Might as well just place them all down and then just delete the ones we're not going to use. Does not look like it's lining up to me. It's better. Splitter. And we want it right up next to it. where the hover pack comes in very handy. Uh, now these are all going to be doing different things. Oh, crap. Right. Uh, that's going to be an issue. These ones doing concrete. I need to take the input has to come in from somewhere else. I might not have room. How do I want to handle that? Why do these have belts on them? Why is this? There's That's not coming from anywhere. I guess there was maybe a belt with stuff on it already. Huh. Oh, that's not good. Why is this? These are going the wrong way. All right, I need to rethink this anyway. I forgot we had two different products. Uh, two different components on this line. These four are concrete. Would it be better to ha perhaps turn them around? Alternatively, I could also just bring the belt in higher. Yeah, I don't know why they they, they auto-turn. Like, you grab this one, and it's facing 
that direction, like this is that way. And yet when I grab it, it rotates it. And now it's not doing it. Now it's making a liar out of me. It's random, and if you don't catch it, it's a real pain in the butt. Uh, constructors for concrete. How do I want to handle this? The easiest thing might be to put the concrete constructors at the end. And bring their stuff up from behind. I could use that. How much concrete do these guys need? Hundred and eighty. So there's concrete right over here. It's very close. Right there. That's why I had them up here. I could just run the concrete down this way. Or the limestone, I should say. Because that's the only thing they need is just that. Uh, and then... The outputs for this... Uh, where are the concrete bits going? The concrete bits are going... Here. could switch those around and have the concrete bits go here. Or I could just have... Do we don't have two floor hole spaces? That doesn't work. Also, we I just realized we aren't bringing these in on floor holes. We are doing it on doors, maybe? Not that door. Yes, that door. Okay. So I still need to get iron down there. If I did this and was really... Then I can run this down this way. It's not in the middle, but it sort of looks good. And then I could just have the concrete come in. Uh, we could still have it come in the building. I could just loop it. We could have the concrete come in here. And I could just send it underneath. Right here. Uh, actually, it would be farther back. Not be the first time I had done that. The only other thing I can think of would be to somehow get the concrete up and above. So if I had these guys stacked up this way. Then I could continue that down there and instead of a floor hole, this could be concrete coming in that way. That still feels kind of funny to me. Um, it's not as nice. And then this would have to... I don't know how I get the concrete into this, though. That's the only thing. It would have to come up through a floor hole over here. That's not... Yeah. I 
feel like the underside is probably the better way to go. You always need a sub basement. So for that, we would just put the splitters here. Um, honestly, I would probably replace this with one meter, just so we can see what we're doing. at Devastator as well. Despite how big that factory is, I had to do it this way. Probably best to do it in line with everything. Oh, whoops. going to be on this lane and then I'll put these guys in here I guess I could have put the splitter splitter here no that wouldn't have connected right in between these you connect to both that'll connect and then this will connect what I want to know is will this that will not be a nice line no So we're just going to scooch this over. There's part of me that hates doing stuff like this because like, even though I know it's technically going to connect, Oh, maybe not. Yeah, that works.
That can probably... No, I need that anyway. And I said it was... I don't think I'm going to need more concrete. This is the other problem here is that this doesn't really expand much. So 180 limestone to 60 concrete. I don't even need that much. I only need 40. I think that's four was better than three. You always need more concrete. I do find the numbers that they choose for the belts to be really frustrating. I wish it was a lot rounder in terms of that production. Gonna be our concrete. Oop. And the outputs for these are gonna have to layer. The concrete is going in this direction. I guess that's where these are going. I don't know what I decided for the outputs here. But this is on this lane. And I will send you that way. So the concrete is going to go around to here essentially and it's 60 concrete so I'll work on that um, for now I guess we could put it up towards there after we power them. I'm gonna have to go through this whole thing and come up with a nice way to um, to power everything. Okay, so those are potentially cooking. All I need to do is bring the concrete into here, and that has to be a mark three. Glad I caught that. Stopped it over there, sweet. As in, not good. I guess temporarily we can squirrel it around.
Now I just have to make sure it's producing the right amount, which was 180 if I remember correctly. Oops, that's a mistake. 180 limestone to 60 concrete, that should be correct. Um, I only need to use the normal and I'll just under clock it or clock it to the right speed. Holy smokes, Pixel Rift sends Loy with the double raid. Welcome in. Give me one second here. 90 per minute. We need one more of those. And we'll do 180. 120. No, we need most of this. Oh, this is not the normal node. Hello, hello, hello. Let me just get over here. Someplace cool. Someplace fun to look at lasers. We're slowly but surely working on the the production here. That things are cooking. Welcome in. Wow, Pixel Rifts and Zloy. I'm assuming you were playing Elden Ring, the co-stream that happens on the Tuesdays and the Thursdays. Thanks so much for the raid picks and Zloy. Really appreciate it. Welcome in. Uh, thanks for the shout out, Sandy, for Pixel Rifts and for Zloy. Yep, Elden Ring co-op night. Nice. How's it going? How's that? Uh, how's that progress going? So one thing I've not played is Elden Ring. I feel like I just, I know it wouldn't be my thing. Off to make uh, chili now. Have a good stream. Thanks again, uh, Pix. I understand, of course, you may have to uh, raid and run. Uh, chili sounds fantastic. It's a, it's a cool fall day here as well. Um, but welcome in, everyone. If you are not familiar, if Johnny somehow didn't mention it, uh, we co-host and produce the Spawn Trunks together. Uh, and uh, I have raided Johnny a number of times over on twitch.tv slash pixelriffs. There should be little hearts in chat for my folks. If you have not already followed pixelriffs or Zloy XP, then please do so. Uh, I'm sure you will enjoy the content. Not just Minecraft. Obviously, there is Elden Ring and other things going on. Uh, Johnny and I have actually been toying around with, with some ideas behind the scenes. Uh, we might be able to do some, some fun things together soon. Um, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, but you can follow pixelriffs on Twitter as well as... Uh, I believe Instagram and then Zloy, I think it's also on Twitter. So you can follow all the places and get notifications when they go live on their Twitch channels. Uh, for folks just coming in, this is satisfactory. We uh, talked about this a little bit on the spawn chunks recently. Uh, let me just switch back over here. Um, so if you'd like to leave a follow, if you're not already, then you will see more of this and more Minecraft on the channel, of course. Uh, really excited to try a snapshot out later this week to see if I can have some fun with the... Um, uh, the the white the pale oak. I'm still trying to remember all the new names. Pale oak uh, and the new snapshot stuff that looks really cool. Uh, so in this game, however, we're focusing on designing things after transformers. This one doesn't look like much, but this one I tried to make look like Ironhide. And you might have seen this behind me on the latest Spun Chunks uh, video. I have it up on my monitor behind me. Just let me stand here, and I'll throw up a, an image here. So we've got. Uh, Ironhide, uh, the red and the chrome and uh, the, the smelting bits all happening on the inside and the angles and stuff are really fun. I kind of like the way that this turned out. It's very sturdy. I like that you can see the guts moving around, doing things inside. I think that's cool. And then upstairs, I'll show you the finished inside. Uh, Riemann, thanks very much. So this is, um, if anybody's played Factorio, it's very similar. So here's the underside of everything being smelted and moved. And then up here, we have all the smelters moving and grooving and spewing the smoke. Still don't have any lights animating, and they seem to be doing a lot of stuttering and stopping. But um, everything looks pretty cool. I only have a door in the back. But it's a fun, fun place to walk around. Lots of light. I, I find in the game it's pretty dark, so having skylights and stuff is definitely a good way to go. I don't remember why that turned gray. So 
So there's taking the iron from these iron mines and then smelting it all up into iron ingots. And we're in the, we're just in the process actually when you guys came in of setting up this factory over here is going to be something that replaces all this spaghetti and temporary stuff as we've been working through our inventory and getting our, our stores built up. We are uh, slowly now taking that iron ingots and turning it into other products. So we've got uh, wire coming out here. Sure, slowly but surely. And we are currently just starting to make concrete over here. And that's not out of, that's not out of um, iron. That's out of um, limestone. Uh, and then now we're going to start adding this this other line of um, of iron ingots. That's going to happen down here. And we're going to start to make plates and rods and screws and a bunch of other stuff. And so we're just in the process of kind of figuring out how this is all going to look. This is going to be a walkway, I think, so we can kind of oversee everything. It might be a little bit taller. Uh, and then I have plans for the storage up here. Um, we're just trying not to block the view, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to do the storage. Um, there'll be a glass ceiling, but these things are so big, they tend to get in the way. So, And we've got to figure out where these are going to go. These are sort of quickly, quickly placed. We need to sort that out. Uh, but all of this can now happen over this way. So we've got spreadsheet that's been helping us out and we've got rods plates and screws so there's two four six constructors plus a cable is seven two four six and the rods are going to those assemblers the plates are going to those other assemblers and the screws are going straight to storage so the screws should be last I just need to figure out where my reinforced iron plates are going to go. They're getting wire. So the reinforced iron plates should be closer to the end. And the modular frames should be in the middle. I've got these very similar colors. So these should be the modular frames and these should be the reinforced iron plates. So that means rods should happen first and then plates. I was quickly color coding these before. Rod, let's just do white for plates quickly. And then screws are blue. And then cable is black. And I might not need that one, so let's just make that a bright kind of like, I don't know. Another raid. Holy crap. Three raids. Triple raid. Scotsman UK. Raiding with the party 25. Thanks ever so much. Welcome in, everyone. M, I'm thinking of restarting my satisfactory save now that 1.0 has come out. I know a bit more about the game. I may need your spreadsheet route. Uh, it's all tough to keep track of. Uh, I will share the spreadsheet. Uh, I've linked to it before. Uh, there's no there's no hard coding math in it. Like it's not, there's no um, equations. It's just me um, mapping things out really. But I'll happily share you the, the link if you want to take a look. Um, Thanks so much for the SLA pub crawl greetings, everyone. Welcome in. Folks in my chat, if you have not followed uh, Scotsman UK, then you really should. Scotsman, a great member of uh, this community, um, but uh, also the Spawn Trunks community, does some fantastic Minecraft builds. Uh, what were you up to on stream today, Scotsman? I'm assuming Minecraft. If not, may maybe, maybe you were doing Satisfactory. You were playing Minecraft, cool. Um, yeah, M, uh, just ping me in the Discord. I will forget. I get busy and I will not remember. Um, there might be a pinned message in Satisfactory to my sheets. Um, but I can, I can do that if you want. They're not like polished for like public consumption. So I don't like post them on Patreon or anything like that. But I'll share them with you. I don't care. Um, 
Yep, lots of planning of future builds around the castle. Oh, very cool, Scotsman. That sounds awesome. Uh, so welcome in, folks. Uh, if Scotsman did not give you the heads up, I co-host and co-produced the Spawn Chunks with Pixel Riffs. Uh, Pixel Riffs just dropped off his viewers earlier, uh, as well as Loy XP. They were doing Elden Ring after some Minecraft. So uh, we've got lots of people hanging out here. Uh, if you are uh, already um, a sub, then you can join the Discord. Uh, if not, then you can check out the Patreon. Great way to support and join the Discord as well. Um, you can um, hang out here, learn a little bit about Satisfactory. Uh, I do play Minecraft on a regular basis, of course, because I do the Spun Trunks. But right, la- right now, I've been focusing a lot on Satisfactory. Uh, but Scotsman, once again, thank you very much. Uh, anybody from both my communities and Pixel Rifts and Zloy... Uh, really, if you are Minecraft fans, you should be following Scotsman UK. So follow the link in chat, give them a follow. Uh, again, Scotsman, thank you ever so much for the rain. So now we've got to figure out the inputs for these guys, uh, starting with this guy here. So we want the input on that side. And I think these are supposed to be like right up next to each other. That looks to be about right. I might have to switch that. I'm going to leave that for now because that's not going to be taking um, this stuff. These are going to be doing cast screws. These are going to be doing plates. And these are going to be doing rods. we've got that'll probably reach uh, what's this gonna need this is gonna be 30 60 90 uh, screws there's going to be some overflow here. This is where I need to definitely check the sheet. So this is where this thing gets split off. Um, and it gets split off back here. So 30, 60, oh, I was going to bring those from a different spot, wasn't I? So this is 240 and 240, 180 only leaves us 60, that doesn't make any sense, that's not the right math. Two forty minus one fifty, not one eighty. Uh, neat tip to know you could lock doors open. Yeah, no, we just talked about it earlier. It's um, it's really handy because there's no one-sided conveyor hole, and so the doors can look really cool. If you do it that way, it just looks more purposeful, right? 
You can always use a gate wall. That's fine too. I just find it looks... You can see behind it though. Uh, so 150 there. No, that's not right. Equals 240 minus 150 is 90. That's 90 and then that's 60. And that's what I had intended. Okay, so my cast screws are not going to go here. We're going to have to figure out something else for those. Because that is the end of the line. We've got the room, so we'll figure it out later. So this is going to be 90 being pulled off of 240 going to 150. That's why the smart splitter is here. Um, this is the nice thing about bu building your base a little bit later in the playthrough, is that uh, this smart splitter it's going to send iron ingots this way, and then I can send overflow that way, which is straight out. So overflow this way. I just need to make sure that this is a mark two. So mark twos are cleared for 120, and that will give all of these the right amount so again we've got 30 and 30 is 60 and then 15 and 15 is 90 and that should be what's left out of the 240 that's been split back there so these are all powered these are not Right, so that is that line completely being consumed by everything. Uh, we now have to do the outputs for these. So we can group these up and know that the rods are going to go here. And the plates are going to go there. So this is where I need to really work out what's happening with these particular machines. And if I need more room here I might want to nudge this down to have another lane available just for space I think that looks pretty even yeah that's okay now I just need to decide how far I guess east or west I want these to be so for folks that don't know uh, we are making encased industrial beams. That's for our own construction. But then these are making modular frames, which are these guys. Those. And these are making encased, uh, these are making re um, stitched iron plates. But the stitched iron plates are used in the. Um, these guys. So I might want to turn these guys around so that the output is coming back. We could also, if I nudge them forward a bit, we could use the space here. Maybe. Would this, how would this look if this connected? I mean, it works. It doesn't clip anything. We just have to nudge it far enough that it doesn't clip through the floor. So how much is each one of these producing? More... Oh, these are supposed to be at 80%, I think. Because the numbers for this alt recipe are stupid. Yeah, underclocked to 80%. Okay. Or 
four and a half per minute. Just unlocked trains and Ada's motivational message is so awesome. <laughs> There's a clip of me laughing at that from the other day. You're right, the penguin dude. It's so good. Choo choo. <laughs> uh, learning Excel is so worth it. There are lots of levels of knowledge within Excel and even just a few. Several layers are really powerful. I totally, yeah, I totally agree. Spreadsheets, uh, actually, that's just Google Drive. I use it for all kinds of stuff. I usually over underclock uh, one to consume all the ingots. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is producing nine altogether, but we only need four. No, six. So I can't go machine to machine. I have to go in a belt. That's fine. Um, this will just... These can offload this way and wrap around. We just don't have a lot of room outside for logistics. I didn't leave myself a lot of vertical space. When in doubt in this game, folks, just build bigger. Build bigger. Um, the rods are going to be pretty easy. The hard part is that we don't have enough vertical space for that. So I think, because we've got lots of space over here, it might be worth nudging these to the right to give myself enough room. tight not my favorite but at least hmm it's really not going to make a difference we are more than likely going to have to use under the floor here to make this work. And I'm probably just going to send them um, underneath from this line. So if we grab this is going to go out there. Right? Yes. That goes to there. Fifteen. So we really could have done... This is only twelve. Oh, right. We've got the overflow to worry about, too. Darn it. So this is probably going to have to be a smart splitter. Um, and then this can go over to there. And then this actually could go down that way. So I've got that point in the wrong way. Oh, that's not what I want. Also nighttime. Thank you, Sandy. Hard to see, especially for new people. So since everyone is uh, lovely and sticking around from those raids, um, I do take a break once an hour. I'm going to be streaming for at least another couple hours. So um, hang out. Uh, give yourself a chance to go grab a drink or a snack. You probably have already had a decent afternoon with watching uh, Johnny and Zloy and Scotsman UK. 
Uh, but I am just going to step away for a few minutes. The skybox in this game is quite pretty. So you'll get to watch that as it goes by. And I'll be back in about five or seven minutes. After I thank Hunter Triple Five for subscribing at Tier 1 for 46 months. Holy crap, Hunter. That's amazing. Thank you ever so much. I'll be back in just a bit.
Snugly, welcome in. Good to see you. And uh, I agree. Uh, my evening would go better if I had Riemann's snack. I do enjoy a good whiskey. I almost bought a bottle the other day, but I decided to wait. Normally I buy a Jameson's stout cask for around the house, but I uh, want to try something different. And I didn't, I hadn't done any pre-meditative research before I got to the liquor store. So I thought, you know, I'll wait. I'll go home and think about what I want and then I'll come back and get something else later. That's the plan. Sweet Sandy, thank you ever so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. And I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. So, uh, we need the rods to get into these ones. So it would make sense to split the rods. And this also needs to get plates. Rods and plates. Do I want to move these over at all? I don't think I do. Maybe we'll just go up to the edge, like that. They do kind of go over the edge a little bit. Maybe... I think I should maybe have... Where's the edge? This is the edge here. So I do have some room. We don't have to do them in this configuration. We could rearrange them a little bit. So I could point them in a different direction. So these guys are getting concrete and pipes, right? Yeah, 48 pipes. This is making 60 pipes. So it would probably make more sense to have these two turned. But then I just have to have enough space that I can do the logistics for it. I feel like we have that room. Vertically. Totally do it vertically. So these could actually be pumped back a bit. So if this exited that way, so I could turn this around. These could go down here and into that one. So we'd have a merger going this way. That doesn't need to be there. I need to have more space. That's awful tight. Maybe just one tick over. Hmm. I'm thinking about moving this back here and then having this be uh, still well we could move those let's set this up to be a little bit nicer looking
Don't know if this will actually connect. I don't think so. to be a splitter. That works. So the beams come in that way, and then I just do another splitter, I guess, on this side. are lined up. Yep. Those will take in from there. And then on the bottom, all we have to do is the same thing. Just offset. So this line, but uh, there. And we're doing more concrete than we need. Sixty versus forty. So I have to have an output here. This is going to be a smart splitter. So we'll have concrete overflow. This will be concrete. And then we just have to hook those up. And this should be actually be a nice, simple right turn. Except for I somehow have that facing the wrong way. Nope. Oh, the output on this, I've got facing the wrong way. There's a lot of twisting and flipping as you're planning this stuff. A lot of the time. That goes to there. And this will go out to here temporarily. Get another one of those. Maybe we'll try it over here. Now we can do case industrial beam, case industrial beam. We need to move this uh, seemed like such a good idea. I wonder Feels pretty tight. I just wonder if now I feel like I have to rotate these as well. Oh no, I've got the room. Oh, we go. I may end up redoing this. This may be regrets. Uh, these are doing beams. I can probably use this space. I might be able to send it this way. Would make the most sense. So this could just come out and turn. Head out this way. I 
put that down on purpose just so I don't have to build around it. Uh, you could make move it back and put the splitter directly on top of the output lift. Yes, uh, Acre Gaming, I'm aware uh, that you can do this. And you can snap these guys right to the top of it. I really don't like the way that it looks. I think it, I don't know why they've allowed that in the game. I think it looks silly to me. So I know it's possible. Perfectly reasonable way to play. I just don't like it. I like this look better. I think they should snap them like this instead of like this with the extra rubber. I feel like this is a much cleaner look. I wish we could have a choice between how they snap. That would be my thing. I'm always misplacing splitters and mergers in the wrong direction. Uh, can can. That is because they rotate on you in the game without you doing anything. We were just dealing with that. They will absolutely rotate on you uh, if you're not paying attention. Right, so if that output line goes, then that means that we are con like we're dealing with this there. I may it may be better for me to take some of these under the under the ground. I could also send this upstairs through a hole. This might be better just to get out of the way entirely. So this could be better off just going up here like this. At which point I would probably do it over there. Um because I'm still trying to figure out how and where I'm going to put all the, like where all this is going. Right now it's all kind of coming down this way. Eventually I want it to go on on a sushi belt. Because this is probably going to be the feed for the other two bits because we've got rods and plates that have got to get into this area here. Right, so I need to get rods and plates in there, but I don't have the verticality that I have here. Which is a big problem with this double inputs is a real trick. Um, I could just have them far enough away that we could pull them down. Don't know what that looks like. Could do that method. Also too close. That works. If that was the case, I would just run it right down the middle. Because it's so close to being in the middle, you might as well just center it, right? That would cleanly get rid of the plates and rods, no problem. Bang, 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 bang. That's done. And then do I have enough space here to run the next two? Oh, no. This is not plates and rods. This is rods and reinforced iron plates. So one of them is going to go the other way. This, I think, needs to go this way. Because it needs to make stitched plates.
Or I've got to loop things around. That is going to be tricky. I, I could... I could get vertical over here. Yeah, this is going to be wild. <laughs> There's so much stuff. I thought I gave myself lots of room. So these are going to those two. No, three. Three and four. I might actually want to leave a space between them. Well, first I want to line them up. annoying. That is just enough room for a belt um, because these guys are going to output um, frames that these guys need or plates that those guys need so you're going to be doing stitch plates at 80 percent reman with 124 bits thanks very much for the support i really appreciate it so i could do copy that and i could do paste that these guys are going to need those plates and I could take those plates from here and do a smart splitter that's going to come in from the back and then we'll do plates to the left and then none and then overflow that should send four that way as needed but then one half going the other way and then i'll have a merger here Such small numbers, but it's all just for inventory. And then this will come around. Of course, that's not going to be friendly. That's annoying. I'll have to line it up like that, I guess. Can I do it without the... Why is that a valve? It's weird. I can do it that way. Okay. Uh, and that's these two. And do I want to do this high? Maybe this is the high one. And then we can keep the rods low. Does that go up there? Of course it doesn't. That would be too easy. Darn it. So it's probably better for this to go just a little bit to the side here. I 
I can make it look better later, but that doesn't work. Uh, missing plates? That's a new one. You know you're building a lot of belts when you run out of plates. I guess I could have checked my dimensional depot. the wrong way and I'd want to put it here and then this one splitter going the other way and that has to be a smart splitter because rods are 30 per minute and this needs 24. So then this guy, smart splitter. And we do rod, and then we do overflow. And that continues on out this way down the middle. And then this would be there, connected up there, that goes there, this goes there. I've got the overflow on the reinforced iron plates going elsewhere. These guys are our white. modular frames and now I just need to get the rods over to there and then the plates I've got to get to these guys and again, we might have to go with this up and over method. The good news is that I could put a merger in here and get the plates on the bottom and then just use smart splitters to pop them in there uh, because this is going to need another line coming over the top. The good news is this goes that way. So we can have another one that goes that way. So splitters here. And we'll do, I guess we'll do top first. And these need more than 60, so that's going to need to be a Mark II. So that's going to be wire, so we'll pull that from there. That might actually work as a lift. Although I put that, oh, this is the wrong spot. So we need, don't have this. This might have to be a gate wall. Might have to be a gate wall. Right, so then we have wire coming in here going in those two machines. And then we have plates, but I'm gonna put a merger here. So that will take our 
plates and our rods and I will want oh that's gonna be really tight for a smart splitter let's back that up oh it does look really good um, yeah that's not gonna work I have to shift this over. That's fine. I'm going to cross the streams. Insert your favorite Ghostbusters joke. So we do a smart splitter here now. And you are going to take uh, plates and then overflow. And then I guess I've got to do the same thing here. Do plates and then overflow. And now I just have to make sure that the um, belt speed matches up with what we need. That should be working. And I just need these guys to be powered. Sweet. Okay. We're getting there. I'll do another temporary power situation. Let's do that from the side. And we'll just go down the middle. I will make this a lot neater. Decorating this place is going to be kind of fun. I'm sure I've left myself some conundrums. What was I thinking there? I don't remember. This is, oh, this is um the beams. Oh, I like the color code stuff. Makes it easy to remember. Where can we pull power from, I guess, underneath here? Are you powered? You're not powered. We'll just go right along the top. These guys are almost all good. Mind you, the frames. Now they just don't have this stuff. Because I did not hook the belts up for the plates. And why are you not? I guess this has to be constantly flowing if we're going to loop it up. That's the only issue uh, if we're going to do that. Don't have enough space. I do, I could do a third belt for export. So if I wanted to, I could get the plates into here. And 
the rods could be... No, I can't get the rods up high enough. I could have another export over here. Really enjoying the depot? Yeah. Yeah, I like the depot as well. It's really nice to be able to just like grab stuff when you need it. Speaking of, I could, should check my awesome sinks. I probably have some tickets. Does that get us to 10? It does! What do we want? either the big billboard signs for 10 which is all of the tickets customizer we could get a couple things we can get the grip metal uh we can get the unpainted finish metal roof i think this was something i really wanted Don't think I'm jamming for the railings just yet. I feel like we'll do grip metal and those. Fix it never recalls a product. Every awesome item is guaranteed to work for its entire lifetime. Enjoy your purchase. Some more pipes required. The only issue I find with the sushi belt stuff is that you really have to make sure everything is absolutely flowing at all times. You had that problem earlier, sushi belt stuff? that would get rid of that noise. It makes no sense whatsoever. So I do have room here to take out another belt. So I don't need... The rods don't need to come here. This feels like a strange way to do the belt. Um, I could just have the rods continue out. I could pull the plates from over here. I could just put this basically here. Right? And not have it be a problem. And then take the excess out through here. This is another way, but before I deleted that, somebody was asking about the doors. Um, putting a beam across the bottom of the door also makes it look pretty good. So the plates could just go here. The rods could continue out. And that would mean less of this nonsense. All of this was going to be flowing um, evenly. Um, I could still do that, I guess. I just thought it would look better if everything was central. I, I guess what really needs to happen here is I need to put a merger on this and see if that helps. the belt. So if I did that, and I actually redo these again, so we've got plates merging, and then we've got smart splitters here. I should really put smart splitters on their own line. If I move this back... It 
it will be easier to get up that height, I think. And this can go here. This, I'm gonna do this facing the right way. Plates only. And then overflow. Plates. That seems to be working now. No sticking around. I like that. It's a nice tight situation. Uh, we do need a splitter here. Getting these guys up higher. And this, unfortunately, is actually going to be a real problem because these wire bits are tall. So I need to split off of this and get wire up there. For now, I guess what I'll do is smart splitter. Uh, that, don't remember what that was supposed to be, but this can be an input, I guess. Can I get to there? I probably can. That is not what I want. I could turn that one more time and input from this side. I get really tired of doing things over and over again, for sure. How much wire does this need? Mark two. Oh, that's annoying. Really, you can't turn that? That's odd. How to do this and have it look nice. this doing this is screws Have them come in. This is going to be a problem when we go to output the screws too. Like I'm probably going to have to move this around, and that's fine. Um, Gappy the guy, hello, welcome in. Thanks for coming by to say hi. trying to get cable from that line up to this splitter and have it look good and it is not 
a thing. So, I'm now wondering if I put this up here. Can I make this? I really want this to work. Please work. Oh my gosh. Sorted. these are facing the right way so this is gonna go plates again overflow can I copy these can so then this will go out that way These can just be regular splitters. Now, do I want it to come in from over there? Probably the easiest thing, right? And then this, I'll put one of these guys on it. Oh, I forgot about the ceiling um, stuff. Splitter. So that, what did I do? those in a funny spot. Uh, that can't go there, or it has to do a weird little wiggle, which it may not be able to. Oh, it does. That is not how I would like that to go. But it works. So that gets the wire coming in. I would prefer not to have this little wiggle bit here, but I, at the moment, cannot think of a better way to get that stuff up high. Unless, again, I switched and I took the rods up high. And that could work. I'm going to switch this now before I forget. that up and that cleans this lane up so then if we have screws here that are outputting in this direction and this all lines up this way That 
that's if I decide to put screws here. I probably won't. Okay. And is everybody powered and doing things? You're not getting enough plates. You're not getting any plates. Are you sending all of the plates? You're probably trying to fill this guy up, are you? Yeah. You're getting no plates? Oh, it's only doing overflow. So it's not splitting the plates. That's fine. This doesn't have to be crazy efficient. Uh, these guys just don't have any... Have enough of those. Same thing. This should be splitting. Are we starting? Oh yeah, okay. So while we're looking at the outputs, uh, these are just going to storage as far as I know. Eventually they may go to heavy modular frames, but they're just going to go to storage. Okay. So we can actually take these in a different direction and we might as well go I don't want to say vertical because I can't really get them back down unfortunately this is the way that I've got this laid out so we may want to go in this direction with them this is also going to storage I feel like these are going to want to bump forward, and we do not have the room. Mm. Some of these look cooler than others. Where do we want to send these? I mean, we could just send them under the ground. Since they are just going to store it. Uh, what do these need? These need steel and yeah, steel and wire. That's fine. Wire's coming in over there. Wire will wrap around here, no problem. And steel, we'll just have to do that double, um, that double layer out here. I think I've got enough space for that. Yes, no problem. No problem at all. This has to be far enough away that it can link. Perfect. Why are you stuck? Oh, because you're supposed to go out this way. Right. Oh, that's the wrong way. that get messed around guess it wasn't on the belt it was on the ground reinforced plate none overflow and then we've got this is just sending it that way This is motors, and this doesn't even need one of these. This can just be a straight exit. And I don't know. That doesn't line up. That's annoying. Let 
may want to bump these closer so that they line up. That would be a better way to do it. So I should put this here as a reminder. Fix the grossness. Uh, this can probably just go to there. That's going to be motors. Um, oh, that actually might flip around. Because that's going to need input from the other two things. Are we not? I don't know if we're making overflow for rotors and motors. 10 rotors per minute. Uh, we do not have a siphon other than when the things fill up. That will have to happen. Don't know how. Work in progress, I guess. Yeah, it's a, definitely a flexy, flexy thing. I'd like to try and I'm trying to make this look cool, and that's the problem. Is that like, it feels very helter skelter. I'm not feeling like it's looking very good. This could be the cable machine quite easily. And we do have enough room here. Uh, oh no. Well, they're all going, they could be combined onto a sushi belt. That's fine. They're going to storage. So the good news is those just go to storage. The question is how do we go back and forth with the rotors and stuff? So I think I'd originally planned for these to be steel rotors because it's going to need wire. And this is going to need wire. And this is going to need wire. Yeah, so it's very easy to get the wire to these guys because this is all just um, stuff. So this is probably going to actually get flipped around. And I might want to give myself some room here. Just have that be sorted that way. So this is again going to be motors. Nighttime. Time to take another break. Uh, I've had a really uh, good afternoon streaming. I'm going to keep going because I'm, I'm getting close to getting this sorted and I don't want to leave it. I try to try to complete something. So uh, once again, folks, I do take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to stretch. You should too. Maybe even grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming and I'll be back in five or six minutes.
All right. Let's see if we can wrap this up. Get this going. We're so close to having everything moving. Those are stuck. Why are you slow? I guess because we're bringing in 120. And it's, I guess, more than needed. Oh, I did 37.5. I forgot that I underclocked these. This doesn't need to be a 120 belt. This can just be a regular 60. I forgot that these were underclocked. That should, if I clear this out, that should smooth that out a little bit. The little things, right? Cool. The idea is that I want to see more of the stuff moving around. And maybe I have to go vertical with some of this to make it look cool. Okay, so we've got plates being made, we've got that being made. We need to export these guys. And I want to double check that I can attach these the way that I want along here. Uh, you are not, not in the right places. You are not in the right places, okay. First things first, move these guys. And do I want to bump you sideways? I need to make sure that this will work. It does not. That's annoying. This lane will. So this could be bumped a little bit farther if I wanted to. Although, I'd say maybe I want to just split the difference there. For the spacing, these are going to be sent down this way. I might want to actually turn this guy around. So this is going to be making... Rotors. These guys we can go vertical because I can put a merger. At that height. And do the same thing here. a lift just to get these guys out. And that keeps this bottom space open for the exports from these guys. And then I can have this join up up here.
I guess that doesn't have to go down, does it? in the wrong way. So that should send all of these guys along. Yes, no. I'm just going to be sinking them for now, and that's fine. This is all full. Okay. That's being made and taken care of. And we have a low access point out here. Question is, where do I want these to line up? stuff. I think that would be okay. So then we'll have rotors and stators. Ooh, hello. That's not good. Let's move that a little bit. I'm going to want this on its own line. Put that in the middle, and then we're going to want some room. That gives us a little bit of room to walk as well, which could be fun if we need to. So then all four of these will export and combine. And we could just do smart splitters here. That's really tight. I don't think that actually works. Oh, I just can't make it. I have to make another AI limiter thing. Just realized I left my water in the other room. Hold on. Super good looking. Uh, 
uh, do I want to do it that way? Or do I want to just have it just face the other direction like this? That might be the easiest way to do it. I don't know why we would need more than one. And we're going to be doing wire and steel. So steel is going to come from this side. Yeah, that is this steel that's over here. It's going to go that way. So we're going to have to move some of this stuff, I think, and that's fine. So the bottom ones are going to have to face the other direction. And I'm going to put, no, these will go this way. These will go that way. And they don't have to be on the same one. So we can do the bottom ones, I guess, will go on this side. Oh, are these now off? These are off now. Crap. I can't do this along the side with these. Because these things are more than a foundation wide. It works for the first one. But then it doesn't work for any of the other ones. That is hot trash. Satisfactory. J. Chris, welcome back. Can, can, yeah, they're just off. That's annoying. Um... The solution is to flip these around and have them um, output over there and then input. Oh no, because that doesn't matter because then they're still going to be off. They're not going to be in the center. Well, crap. I could turn them to face the other way. I don't think I can fit two side by side here. I might be able to. We did this. We'd have to redirect the output there, but that's fine. We can scoot it over here. So we could have them come in from the side with a nice tight thing like that. That would make this area a lot cleaner as well. When in doubt, try to look at it from a different perspective. And I need to nudge that maybe a little bit. Do I have any wiggle room? I do, I think.
So they're not on the centers, but they are in there now. Do I want them to line up with those ones? Maybe, probably. That would probably make a lot of sense. Um, I can always nudge those over to the middle to make room and then, oh, but then that's not going to work there. Feel like this might be the way to try it? It would certainly look nicer. Don't need that right now. I feel like these could be a lot closer together, but... So strange when you're trying to the, the foundations kind of get inside your head as to how you're going to line things up. Space over here or space over here? Guess we'll do it there. And then for the outputs. These are going to be doing, say, rotors. And we'll take them around the side to go down that way. And then this will go in line here. And then we can nudge that down. So this will need enough space to have things come in. input. 
Why are you not letting me? That's dumb. Trying to think about where the inputs are going to come in. There needs to be a fair amount of space here. So then the inputs for these machines could come in on that side. This is just going to be straight walls. The inputs for these machines will come in on the center here. And we'll have to figure out where to put the concrete. That's fine. Oh no, that's not the center. That's not going to work. So these have got to be either farther back or. Yeah, I thought this was going out the middle. It's not. It's going out between two foundations. Building tiny is something I did a lot and learned how things don't tend to line up nicely. Yeah, no. This isn't really tiny. This is just. I guess the problem is like being restricted in this area, but I have sort of given myself a problem um, that's it. So two, three, four, five, six. That is a long push. Well, that's why, because I tried to line them up with those ones. That's why it wasn't working. That's why it wasn't working. Maybe I should think about where all four of these are going to line up. It's probably a good idea. that lines up with that one. And then... Don't know whether it was five or six. That does not give us enough space to do the other one. Yeah, so I need to have this farther back this way. How many spaces is this? Eight, maybe? Um, let's move this. Have it go out that way. Okay. 
and then we'll have oh I don't know I forgot that by having these here you push things back quite a bit oh I could do what we're doing here with the lifts. That could be a lot tighter. That's the wrong spot, but I'll get my. I can line this up this way. in line with that one? No. Of course it isn't. That would be too easy. This will at least line up properly, and I can also just so I could have two of these here, like this. Or for them. That means the outputs here can move. And that means that actually that was probably about right. We're off the grid, which is a little bit strange. So there's the outputs for rotors. And it's not going to line up with anything nice. So I may want to think about how that's going to work. And the inputs could be as close as here. I just have to figure out how to get that up there. I really wish you could nudge these um, these things together and have them actually connect. And that gives us a little bit of space.
but not a lot. I don't know that this orientation is going to be the best. I think we might have had it better the other way. Yeah, we just, we lose a lot of ground in this space. So I think where we had it before was probably good. It's just unfortunate that we can't bring them in along the wall like that. This is where, like, wanting to line things up will really tie you up in the game. Uh, not a lot of space. I guess we could go like under, under, under. Depending on that, we could just clip that right in. Actually just have it go into the wall cheat it a little bit i'm not above flipping i wish i could snap it though enough Then we'd have the outputs coming out here, and they would end up coming in here. We'd have to raise them up anyway, and that should be fine. That's probably too close, but we have another level. That's probably doable. Um... Almost 70 hours in my current save, and I've done phase two because of I want things to look nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm only in the very beginnings of phase three. Okay, I think that's probably the best way to go. So I can put this in. This is going to be a merger. This is going to be a merger. And then this is just going to be... This doesn't even split. This is just straight up... Um, I guess we have to have... The overflow protection. This 
So I could do two smart splitters. Not that that's my favorite look. This might be an iterative, iterative build. I might have to go and fix this up a bit. Now, do I have enough space here to go down? I hope I do. Perfect. Although, no, I can't do that. Never mind. Here. No, of course not. That would be too easy. Why would that ever work? It's not giving me... Okay. That gets that out of the way, which means we can move probably move these up of course not it just I mean it it does work it the click was there it's just that it's not going to be super nice Clean. Can I? I don't want to nudge these back any farther because then that won't work. Uh, can we do? No. So annoying. Um. Need to get these two things into there. The emerger here. Low on cable. Probably it's faster to make it. Delara, you're working on your central storage? Yeah. This is what this building is going to be, is my storage. I'm just trying to get this to all work together. This is not going to be here. This is going to be up high, right? So... Which means that um, we can take this into there. That goes into there. Nope. And we've already established that this doesn't work. Why? That's why I didn't do that before. Why don't I just take this and flip it? Hmm. 
That to me would work because then we can use an outside thing here. Might be worth just nudging it over. Now, that is not going to be clean, so we move those over. Same problem. Won't, won't make it. Is it five or six? I need to memorize this. It's six. Six is the magic number. Single output here. And these, if need be, can go out that way. So this is going to be. Uh, is that the right one? Yeah. So this needs to get moved over here. And then this just needs to get up on top of that. as quickly as possible. I'm pretty sure this is just a four. So I think it's one, two, three. Could be three. I guess actually I don't need one there. I could just put one here. Or I could have just gone straight into the machine, I guess. Okay, so that looks like it's finally working. It's not lined up with any of this stuff. So I might want to move those back. Um, what a pain. You're going to make rotors. Just to temporarily color them. This is going to be staters. This is motors.
And now we just have to have all this stuff get hooked up. So we've got wire coming in from one of these directions. I guess we'll do wire on the bottom. Almost deleted a machine, I would have been mad. That's wire. Uh, so we need a splitter for the wire temporarily. What's this? That's that. Center overflow, so I need to go this way. I will worry about the belt speed later. Hook these up. You need 40 per minute, 40 per minute, and you need 30 per minute. Those belts will be fine. Um, 40, 80, 110, and 140. So this needs to be a Mark three. means most of the wire is going to go that way. We sh should get some wire going the other way. And then steel is just going to come back down the other direction. So for that, we're going to point these that way. on the bottom and the steel is this one so I'm gonna get rid of this for now and this should just be a matter of going up a little higher And this is a lot of steel, if I remember correctly. Nope, 10, 20, 50. So that's a good enough belt. And now we just need this side. And 
then they need power, of course. And we are making... Where's this coming from? This is coming from there. This is 60, I want to say. Yeah. So that last splitter needs to be a smart splitter. And we do pipes. And we do overflow. And then we take this all the way back down here. And it gets smashed into this somehow. Very messy at the moment. So that will be the overflow pipes. And now these guys just need power. easier to see in the daytime. Accidentally on a belt, very helpful. How we doing? Just needs the wire. Slow going, I guess. Because it's a manifold. That's a lot of things moving around now. I'm good with that. There's the stator. There's the rotor. And then this should give us... I mean, it'll, have, it'll need two of each. We also need to hook up um, a merger here. So these are smart splitters. And again, needs a overflow and, oh, I don't remember what that is. Rotors are up top. Rotors up top. That means that stator is on the bottom. And then we can just do a merger on this guy. At least for the top row. But then for the bottom, we may have to be a little tricky, even though this is the outside. Sub-basement comes in handy. So not that these are going to fill up anytime soon. But eventually we will have stators and rotors on this line going to storage. Right now it's going to an awesome sink. And that should be fine. I think that's everything. Except for the beams, I guess. I only need the motors to unlock trains. Um... Yeah, we we started hard, kind of like rough producing everything. Um, none of this is going to storage just yet. A lot of it seems to be heading down to this lower corner. 
which could be good or bad. Um, it might be worth trying to figure out um, some sort of design here. So one thing that I have over here is like a, a notch that's going to come out there. I think what I could do here, again, to have the build be a little asymmetrical, this could be the elevator where a lot of stuff gets brought upstairs and then gets run behind these storage units. Although, I kind of wanted that to be over here. So I don't know. But we're producing motors now. They're not getting stored, but everything is functioning. Why are you slow? Not enough pipes, I guess. So that's the layout for everything. I mean, obviously we're not... Um these pipes going to oh these need to be going into um, industrial beams yeah so we're not quite hooked up there yet and that's fine that can be roped back along yeah see this there seems to be a pretty steady throughput like coming down this way so I feel like a lot of this stuff is happening in this corner so it would make sense to bring it up here. I was just hoping not to have that, but I guess we could always use this as the view. It's because I feel like this is going to block what is otherwise a really cool view. I guess we could bring things up here and then run them along the back. That could be neat if this is the entrance. Like, if this is the entrance, we could have everything kind of flowing over top of us. That might be a better way to go. And then have belts kind of going over the top here. That could be kind of cool. And we could have storage over there. And then over here, we could have things like the equipment workshop, and crafting bench stuff that we could just kind of nestle into corners and then have a nice big glass window here elevator scenery yeah 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 sometimes i find that this game really tests your ability to pivot with your designs i think good way to put it we're not doing a lot over here right now Two more tickets, though. Uh, the other thing that's not happening in here is any copper. Um, so that could be something we sneak in down here. We might want to do some copper. I might want to bring in some copper sheets from somewhere. Although copper sheets are really only just used in our own building and in plastic. So I, I well, I'd want to have it, I guess, in central storage. Because I was thinking like copper sheets would be good in like a computer factory. Yeah, 
Yeah, Caterium plastic. So we could, rather than bringing the copper all the way over here, we've got to bring Caterium and we've got to bring plastic in from elsewhere. It might be worth smelting the copper and then bringing it to the Caterium and then bringing the plastic to the Caterium. And we could have another building there that could be all the stuff that we need for computers. And then not the only thing that in here would be going up to heavy modular frames, but like, I don't know where we would even put that. If anything, that would be up here. Be one manufacturer doing it, right? I'm doing pipes. I got pipes. This whole thing, it looks like a lot of iron, um, but all of our steel is being made over here. So I've got um, six constructors doing pipes and three constructors doing beams. And the pipes are being used for all kinds of stuff. And then we have a smart splitter here at the end that's sending the pipes on to overflow. So the way that it works in the drive sheet is, if I can flip over to it so I can explain. Um, where'd the pipes go? Right, so there's 120 steel pipes being made, 20 to rotors, 30, 70 go over here. Uh, and then really what's happening is that 10 from here are going to storage and 12 from here are going to storage and they go into the pipe. So it's a little inaccurate, but essentially what's going on. Uh, what happens here is that I actually split this so that there's two lines. There's a 60 line that goes to these two and there's another 60 line that goes down to here. So what you're not seeing in here is the, the 10, there's 60 traveling down here it goes into a 10. It then joins up with this other one. Eventually. It's more like this. Right? So then this is actually 60. And then 60, 48. And then this is 12. So 10 minus the, plus the 12 equals the 22. So that's that's kind of what happened. Um, copper sheets. Oh, copper sheets are totally used for fluid pipes too. Um, and whatever I do, I'll have them in my inventory. It's just that. Uh, all of this is basically, we're making just a little bit more than we need, right? So that everything has like an overflow where it's going to be like, four things to storage or six things to storage like for example nine reinforced plates we only need six so then i've got three that's going to storage eventually we'll make crystal oscillators but we're probably only going to be making a couple at a time if i need to uh, improve the production here the only thing i can really do is come back and um um yeah signs um the only reason i can the only thing i can do to come back and increase productivity would be um, power shards would be the way to do that. So, yep. Anyway, uh, I like most of the view. It's very busy. Um, this is more spacious than I thought it was going to be. So I might try to bring some of this up visually uh, to give it a little bit more appeal. Um, have it move around kind of unnecessarily. Yeah, I wasn't anticipating to having this much space here. So I don't really know what to do about that. Um, we also have to stick our cable in there as well. It should be doable. Yeah, we can probably swing that. That's going to have iron come in from a different direction. It may, may be trickier to do the cable. The cable might have to be its own thing somewhere. 
So we are doing all of this over there temporarily, and we've got lots. It's just that this I want to be like a permanent housed facility that I will not move any longer. Um, and I want it to look good. And obviously, we spent an entire entire day getting it functioning in a rough way, and now I can start to think about the um, the shapes of of wheeljack and how I want to incorporate that. I see a lot of angles. Like I can see myself coming out here. I don't want to come out too far here. But anyway, uh, that is where I need to leave things off for you. Let me just see who is streaming right now so I can send you all on to somebody else. Total Eclipse might be. Uh, Whoa, Jess is streaming. I was just talking about how much I like Whoa, Jess earlier. Let's send you on to Whoa, Jess. Uh, I'm sure they will appreciate it. It's a very chill stream. Uh, Whoa, Jess is very sweet. I think you will enjoy your time there. Uh, I will be back tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic. Uh, that's UTC minus four hours. Um, Snuggly Bear, thanks for the 100 bits to kick off the end of the stream. That's very kind of you. Thanks for being you, says Snuggly Bear. Uh, Snuggly Boo Bear. I keep on shortening your name. Um, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, so you will all enjoy, I sure, um, Woe Jess. Uh, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, you can see these VODs on YouTube. I post them almost immediately. They, they go up like the next morning at 9 a.m. So Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. If you'd like to support the stream, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It is one of the best ways to support me. It's only $2 a month, less than one cup of coffee. And it is a very consistent way to keep me streaming. Uh, barring that, you can use your Prime sub or your Twitch sub. Uh, both of those will lead to the Discord, as does the Patreon. So if you want to be part of the community, there's a, a number of different, different ways to join. The Patreon is where I share my blueprints for Satisfactory and will be happy to share things like um, my spreadsheets in the Discord, as well as any uh, save games uh, on Satisfactory. If you want to take a look at Devastator or Metroplex, uh, which I showed earlier, then uh, by all means, uh, check it us, us out in the Discord. Um, thank you ever so much for the support today. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you to Sandy, who's long gone to bed for the wonderful moderation. And I will see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic evening with Woe Jess. Bye for now.